fight here. Okay, who's taking care of my computer there? Why is that thing there? You see that? Oops. It's okay. My look, get that off. You're supposed to be manning my computer. Me? Is it yeah, computer? he's talking to you, but I'll do it for you. <laughs> Water. No, but uh, who, who's getting this? Who's getting oh, this? Oh, oh. It's what is he right this year? Okay, you know right. what? Everybody, I don't know why you disconnected this thing. Hold, hold off. Everything's going to get disconnected. All the power's going off. Why? Because somebody disconnected the main thing. Well, but the internet but it's is going out right now. Okay, then. It doesn't really look like it's gone. <laughs> Everything is being. Yeah, it's because yeah. of the stars oh, behind glory that? that we are okay. <laughs> yes, thank you, Larry, for perceiving everything. <laughs> you're gonna have to start applying for my belt. No swearing, but you're gonna give me no reasons to swear. Oh, 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 Okay, is we there? We in. What is that? What? Why is there? That we shadow? can tell that story has been in illumination. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Everything has been in perfect lighting. <laughs> Thank well, you, big drum. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it like that. We'll we'll get by with the lighting the way that it is. Do you want me to do this? Okay, we're just gonna get moving right away. <clears throat> Okay, everybody, we have a big day. There's uh, very important things to talk about. And we know that there's very few people in the world that are addressing this thing that we're going to address today, you know, in the, uh, oh, in the proper way, you know, like to address it in depth. So anyways, we're going to get moving right along. We're just going to get into the opening and then uh, very short, and we're just going to jump to everybody who's here. Uh, just to go and to give a brief introduction, each person first, and then we'll start the conversation. Oh, yes. I got a translate. I forgot. <laughs> Buenas tardes a todas y todos. Estamos aquí en este proceso. Hay gente bien bonita invitada y vamos a darle la palabra a cada quien para que se presente y después vamos a empezar. Okay. Well, I want to go to the way you go. So what I want to see you, Snorri. Because he comes to you, you just. How we know you, you don't touch it. Square in the star. No, uh, Aguego Anuka Sunka. Uh Retin Wadado Yeti Sota Gunha near do another headstone a gunning or that you have a quick. Uh damn that way on headset a gazat stasara me gunungwe. Damn that way on headset and uh asat ni got darge ne ganyaga haga, radinato, ronata runi don or risk rewage, uh damn that way out on headset and uh aguego on a go to go yana rasa go and escana, or if we carry what body shoes or don't a gazat stasara, damn that way out on headset ne uh okay so as short as possible as you know every time we get together for council meeting ceremony anything of importance we always have to carry out on the gari badekwa first this is where we identify and give thanks to the things within creation that have created us and the things that we need to continue to sustain us and so we always begin by giving our thanks to the great spiral of creation and when you look up into the nighttime sky, it's not, you're not looking into cold, dark, empty, lifeless space the way that non-native science would lead you to believe. No, instead you are looking into the living, vibrant body of our great mother. And so we give thanks to her, to Sky Woman, as it is she who has given us spirit. From there, we give our thanks to the beating heart of our mother earth, to Grandma Moon. It's she who regulates the flow of the lifeblood and all things and here on our mother earth. And so we give thanks to her, to Grandma Moon as it is she who has given us blood. From there, we give our thanks to our Mother Earth. Regardless of what language you speak, where you have grown up from our Mother Earth, or, or what you imagine divides us, 
we all come from the same mother making us all family, sisters, brothers, all relations all together. And so we give thanks to her, to Mother Earth, as it is she who has given us body. From there, we give our thanks to all the women, from the newest born baby girl to the eldest grandmother, uh, as for in this world, they give us purpose and direction. Entonces, como siempre, empezamos con la apertura, agradeciéndole a la Mujer Cielo por el espíritu que nos da, también a nuestra abuelita Luna, que ahorita está en fase de luna llena, y que nos da nuestras aguas y nuestra sangre, y por eso le agradecemos a nuestra Mami Tierra por habernos dado nuestros cuerpos, y que sin importar qué divisiones queramos creer, es una que nos hace parte de una familia no solamente humana, sino de lo viviente. Y también le agradecemos a todas las dadoras de vida, desde la más pequeñita recién nacida hasta la más pequeñita de las abuelitas, porque son ellas las mamis de nuestras naciones quienes nos dan nuestro objetivo y nuestra dirección en el mundo. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, where, what's the last thing you said? Oh, the life givers. Oh, okay. From there, we give our, our our thanks to the power, the energy, the spirit that flows between all things, that connects us to the furthest reaching roots of the trees and everything deep within the earth, to all of the things that we know and we don't know that it takes to keep our Mother Earth functioning. Do we come up to the surface near the roots and the medicines, uh, onto the surface where all the uh, crawling creatures are, all the animals, into the shrubs and trees, above, into the atmosphere, the water that we are breathing in constantly, the the microbial life forms that exist from the earth's surface to the outer edge of our mother earth's atmosphere that all of these things are unseeable to us but yet this are the things that we breathe in that we eat that uh permeates within our systems every day up into the living body of sky woman the spirit that connects all things together we are in the body of sky woman and we are powered by her spirit y después le damos las gracias a toda la interconectividad de la vida, que es en lo que no vemos que está abajo de la tierra, lo que no vemos o podemos inclusive entender, pero que es lo que hace parte de este tejido viviente que a la base es femenino. Uh, from there, we give our thanks to all the medicines and all the shapes and forms they come in, to all the waters and all the shapes and forms they come in. And this is to remind ourselves that we are made of 100% water. Everything in creation is uh, uh, manifest through water. Water is the mechanism of Sky Woman's dream. And so it is through water that the diversity of creation is created. And throughout this diversity, we give thanks to the mothers in every strain of life as it is they that perpetuates Sky Woman's dream. Y después le damos las gracias a todas nuestras aguas y las medicinas, porque como lo sabemos, estamos constituidos de agua, somos por lo tanto medicinas los unos para los otros. Y es toda esa interconectividad de las aguas y la medicina Uh, from there, we give our thanks to our ancestors who carried a good mind, and we ask them to help us to return our mothers back to their natural seat of authority within all of our nations so they can manage all of our people properly once again. Y de ahí le damos las gracias al buen espíritu de nuestros ancestros y les pedimos que nos ayuden a hacer que nuestras madres puedan volver a su sitio de autoridad que les corresponde para que puedan manejar a la gente de nuevo como se debe. We ask them to help us to return our, uh, um, the true spirit of Guyana Nasida Skanagoa, every wampum within the great law of peace back to the hearts and minds of the people. Y les pedimos que nos ayuden a que el espíritu de la grande y de la paz pueda volver a los corazones y a la mente de la gente. And if you can say that you never heard of great law of peace, so how can this return? How can I return this thing? Y si alguien dice, bueno, pero yo nunca he escuchado hablar de la gran ley de la paz, ¿cómo podría volver eso? Great law of peace is what is binding all 38 trillion cells within your individual body together. It is a law of creation of, of how Sky Woman's dream is manifest. La gran ley de la paz es como todo lo que existe del sueño de la mujer cielo se manifiesta. So we ask our ancestors to help us to return the true spirit of peace, power, and righteousness. Entonces le pedimos que nos ayuden a traer el espíritu de la paz, el poder y el buen camino de vuelta. And this is to identify that all people on earth, in, in light of what all of us are facing right now. Y esto es para decir que eh, todo lo que la gente está afrontando el día de hoy. To return your heart to the your mind, your heart, your mind, back to the ways of peace. Es para que en ese momento todo el mundo pueda hacer que su corazón vuelva, tanto su mente, hacia las formas de hacer en paz. To project only the peace and love of our mothers into this world. 
para poder proyectar solamente el amor de nuestras madres en el mundo. Whatever we have learned, well, we have been alive since that time that our mothers give, have given birth to us. Something has happened to change the, uh, the, the, the program, the living program of every living being on our Mother Earth. Porque desde que nuestras mamis nos dieron a luz, es como si algo hubiese tomado el control que nos ha sacado de nuestra verdadera humanidad. And so the purposes of, uh, of us coming together today is to address this in a way, on a scientific level, natural science within the peoples who have kept it alive since the beginning of time. Y el objetivo es que mediante esto, cuando nuestras madres han conservado todo ese conocimiento que les fue entregado desde el inicio del tiempo. So that we can properly address the things that we're confronted with. And also, mainly today, what we're here to discuss is the upcoming Goyeri uh, Orakwase of what's identified in the non-native world as the uh, fourth new moon, which we know is going to be the total solar eclipse running right through many of our territories from what the peoples that we're speaking through to and coming right into our territory. Y que es algo que cuando lo recordamos nos ayuda a entenderlo, lo que está ocurriendo, como por ejemplo este gran fenómeno del que estamos hablando que va a ocurrir del gran eclipse solar en la cuarta luna nueva. Okay, so as if you have been with us in the past, you know that uh, I can talk for a very long time. So I'm going to shut up right here and we're just going to go into introducing the people who are present first. That's what we're going to do. Just to introduce and then we're going to go into the, the, uh, the discussion. Y como saben, eh, yo puedo hablar durante horas y horas de placer, entonces hoy me voy a callar y vamos a darle la palabra a la gente que se encuentra con nosotros para que se puedan presentar. So, to honor the reality of our 10,000 year journey of the corn and how creation has grown on our Mother Earth, the evolution, we are going to start first with the people of the South to introduce themselves until we come to the North here and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y bueno, como estamos en el proceso de reconstitución, primero le daríamos la palabra a los pueblos del sur para llegar al norte, but there's nobody from the south yet. Oh, they're not there yet? Okay, then, well, well, let's start from as far south as we are, which would be us, and then we go to long. Pero, pues todavía la gente del sur no está aquí, entonces vamos a empezar por aquí, que es lo más del sur, y después subimos hacia el norte. So, this is us. Entonces, esos somos nosotros. So, let's go straight to Lauren. Entonces vamos derechito a Lori. Hey everybody, how's it going? Y cómo está todo el mundo, dice Lori. It's gonna go. Up. It's gonna go, Lori. <laughs> well, maybe we don't have anybody from the south yet. Um, but I was kind of uh, prepared to to have this kind of conversation of conversation about the, uh, you know, our similarities and and also uh, differences. And one thing that struck me when I was reviewing the beauty of the astronomy knowledge coming from uh, the Central of America and the South America culture was this connection that we had with the Pleiades, the hole in the sky, and um, how it was translated in our way to tell stories. And you mentioned Sky Woman earlier uh, that came out of the hole in the sky, the Pleiades, that many of us call the seven sisters or sometimes seven brothers I've heard, depending on the communities. Um, but it was also true as well in the South, there was this, this very, uh, very detailed calendar, beautiful calendar that was based on the alignment of the, the sun with the Pleiades. And um, although here in the North, we are, tune with our moon and the moon cycles when uh, things are uh, related to time and timekeeping. Um, in the south, uh, they still had this connection with the Pleiades for their calendar. And so I don't know how many of you are familiar with it, but um, there's many, many uh, pyramids that were built uh, by the Aztec and Mayan culture. And their calendar was a very complex um, intertwined cycles <laughs> that would beautifully display these alignments and that would come back to itself every 52 years and um and then there would be a ceremony for the the new fire and that ceremony was exactly when the pleiades and the sun would align 
with the zenith on top of the pyramid. So they were both at the same time exactly up there. And a ceremony would happen. And uh, it's hard to tell what, what we would do <laughs> in the north because we don't have necessarily, necessarily as much recollection. We've lost a lot of knowledge through time, unfortunately. We don't have those pyramids to remember. But I like to think that with the similarities that we had, um, something similar must have happened back then. Um, because we knew about these alignments and we had other ways to track them, uh, maybe not through through the buildings. Um, but I, I truly believe that that it was there. Uh, in my community and in the Inu community, there was often a parallel in between the Pleiades and the way the pole of the tent were organized for the the shaking tent ceremony. And uh, and the tent was, of course, aligned straight up. <laughs> And so the Pleiades would be at some point aligned with the top of the tent. And I like to think that uh, at some point when the alignment was also there with the sun, something would, would have happened. Um, well, Lord, something Lord, that I want to remember. Yeah. Lord, if you don't mind, I'll have to cut in. Edith has yeah. to get translation into Spanish. Yeah, please. <laughs> Don't worry, I always forget. <laughs> um, yeah, so, oh, no. Entonces dice Lori que, eh, bueno, para empezar, ella es nuestra amiga de la nación Inu, astrofísica, y eh, la habíamos invitado para tener conversación con uh, invitados que conocen del calendario y que conocen acerca de las alineaciones con las estrellas también. Entonces ella dice, bueno, esa conversación realmente quería tenerla con la gente del sur porque sé que todos los calendarios están organizados justamente en la observación de las estrellas. Por ejemplo, las pirámides están basadas en el hecho de que cuando las pléyades están completamente alineadas con el sol, va a haber un efecto que se va a producir en las escaleras. Todo esto tenía cuentas matemáticas que incluían cuenta del tiempo bien precisas y bien exactas incluyendo el calendario que contiene 52 años y que al final de ese ciclo se cerraría para abrir un nuevo fuego para indicar un nuevo ciclo de 52 años. Entonces, a pesar de que aquí en el norte tenemos mucho conteo, por ejemplo, de las lunas, no tenemos esos calendarios como en el centro o en el sur de este hemisferio. Entonces, no sé qué tanto decir al respecto, pero algo que me recuerda mucho aquí en nuestra cultura Inú es acerca de algo que se llama la tienda que, es, que, que tiembla o la tienda que se mueve. Es una especie de temazcal, pero que es construida en una forma distinta y que tiene un objetivo medicinal distinto también. Entonces, en la parte de arriba, que es como los temazcales que se tiene un hoyo, se alinearía con exactamente la observación de las estrellas, en este caso las estrellas. Entonces, estas um, herramientas también se alinean uh, con los astros. Eso es lo que ella sabe de su cultura aquí, por ejemplo. Yeah, and I may add, like, like uh, you mentioned, I'm, I'm an astronomer, so I like the Pleiades also as a special object. It's a star-forming region that uh, was born more than 100 million years ago. And um, we can tra track their age and, uh, and see uh, how they evolved through time. And so for me, it means that they have been there through time immemorial for us <laughs> and that probably in the past since it's a very young region um, there had been very special event happening in the Pleiades most likely a uh, star exploding supernovae and very bright moment where the Pleiades would become extremely bright in the sky and especially at their early age probably tens of thousands of years ago and even more. And so I can only imagine how looking at them must have been back in the days and how special they are in the night sky. And there's nothing like that in our environment in the galaxy um, that is that close. <laughs> so, so all of this activity happening so close to us in this energy that could be seen, you know, sometimes through the day even. Uh, it makes so much sense to me when I see all these connections and why they were used so much. Because um, the sky is beautiful. There's a lot of beautiful object, right, in the sky. So why the Pleiades, you know? And 
And it just made so much sense to me when I was looking about the history of the Pleiades. And so it is really a special area where stars were born really recently and where also some of them have exploded in extreme <laughs> energy was distributed around and we could observe that, uh, which is extremely unique. Um, and so in a sense, uh, it all makes sense. And I'm sure that even though we can't prove it, all of that was witnessed by so many people from the South to the North. And we all saw and observed the same things. And that's how we also got connected through the same sky. Mm. Y bueno, obviamente cuando ella empezó a hacer su investigación acerca de las Pleiades fue como fascinante para ella descubrir que había una como cosa que estaba súper cerca de nosotros porque es lo más cercano que podemos observar, pero que ya tenía más de cientos de millones de años que había sido creada, ¿no? Entonces es algo tan viejo, pero a su vez tan nuevo que está aquí, que a veces inclusive lo podemos observar durante el día. Entonces, eh, nada más hoy que la visión del cielo ya no está tan amplia como solía ocurrir en el pasado, nada más de imaginarse cuánta gente habría observado ese maravilloso cielo, todos los movimientos que se podían observar cuando el cielo todavía era libre de obstáculos que podía ser observado directamente, y cuánta gente no habría hecho sus conteos, sus bases eh, calendáricas de sur a norte justamente observando eso. Entonces, cuando ella piensa en esa magnitud, le, le fascina, ¿no? Y, y saber que todas esas estrellas también han uh, explotado en forma de supernovas y que eh, hay tanta energía contenida en ellas y que está tan cerca de nosotros y cómo nos afecta o cómo nos puede influenciar, entonces es eh, algo maravilloso. Ok, Lori, just so that you know, uh, some of the people uh, that are supposed to be joining us from the south, well, really all of them, are they... Uh, live in the mountains they're not like in the yeah in town area in the mountains so which area exactly uh dice Stuart que hay algunas personas que se unen a nosotros pero que a veces no tienen conexión a internet porque viven en las montañas uh we have people for example in the region of Puebla that is like in the outskirts of Mexico City there's also in close to a volcano that is called Chico Uh, and there's also in um, what's called Tish Balam by the people that nowadays is known as Guatemala. And there, that's really like high in the mountains and the connection is like terrible. I mean, they hardly have internet connection. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, they'll see the recording later. <laughs> we've had uh, communications with them in the past and what happens a lot of times with the communications is it goes in and out. We'll be in the middle of a conversation and they'll be gone for 10, 15 minutes, you know? And yeah. so just just to let you know that. It's bueno. okay. It's uh, the same for a lot of communities in the North as well here. It's it's improving, but, you know, not everybody has access. But, yeah. Tenemos eh, gente que está cerca de volcanes o altas en las montañas, entonces a veces les cuesta trabajo conectarse a internet o hasta pierden la conexión. And plus, on top of that, as you know, everybody works on Indian time. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to call them right now. <laughs> This is their kapow. I call it kapow, like a punch on Batman, you know, kapow, because it really packs a wallop. A Stuart le gusta llamarle kapow, así con ese acento para decir que es como un pum pum de caricatura. This is uh, taken from the their pine tree, right? Uh, well, it's uh, another type of tree that is called the papal. It's more like a temperate um, type of uh, tree. Yeah. Uh, y, y es extraído justamente del árbol que se llama copal, que es eh, un árbol de zona templada. It smells really good. Y huele súper rico. And of course, this is what they use in their ceremonies and... Uh, Some of the people that we've been connected to over the time of doing these Zooms had taken upon themselves to send us a big chunk. Y eso es lo que usan para sus ceremonias y gente que allá ha tenido como la delicadeza de enviarnos sus medicinas nos enviaron unos pedazotes. So we're going to call them. Entonces les llamamos. Okay, just to address also something of what you identified, it's very interesting that you yourself identifies about the 52-year cycle 
and that how in in the south, like within Maya territory in Dixpalem, that how they centered their lives around this rhythm. Y es muy interesante justo que hables de este ciclo de 52 años del calendario y cómo en esta zona central de Tishbalam centraban toda su vida alrededor de este ciclo. But there is also a practical application of that knowledge, you know, just like if you learned how to sew, then you'll have the practical application of uh, sewing song. Y bueno, obviamente como tener el conocimiento práctico, digamos, de tejer, una cosa es la teoría y otra es la práctica. And so since the people of the north are the result of the 10,000 year journey of the corn. If you're thinking like the way a tree grows, well, if the tree is only at one inch tall, there isn't going to be no matter, physical matter, up here at five or six inches. Y digamos, si estamos hablando de materia física y que esta va a contenerse a través de la tierra, pues ahí va a concentrarse la materia física y más arriba ya no va a haber tanta. That matter at the five or six inch level will be there only once the tree grows into that space. Y digamos, si estamos hablando de un árbol, eh, después de que el árbol crezca en esta primera parte de la materia física, después va a poder continuar. And so at that five or six inch level, it will carry with it all of the knowledge and everything that existed when it was just at that one inch level. Y cuando crezca, todavía va a seguir conteniendo el conocimiento de cuando estaba cerquita de la tierra. And so as we, you also, the, the Inu people, the Eskimo people, everybody is a result of this journey. Y nosotros aquí, el pueblo Inu, todos los pueblos aquí en el norte son el resultado de ese crecimiento en el hemisferio. And so the result of uh, colonization, what it has done, as you know, it, it, it has stolen a lot of knowledge. Y el resultado de la colonización fue que muchísimo conocimiento fue robado, como todos lo sabemos. But there is still remnants of this knowledge. Pero todavía hay uh, rasgos uh, salvados de este conocimiento. When I was a kid, I was sitting under the table of, under my chief's table. Y cuando yo era un niño, me sentaba bajo de la mesa de mi jefe. And there was all kind of elders that were coming from many different nations, I could tell, because they didn't look like us. And they look very different. Y eh, había muchísimas uh, ancianos que yo veía y yo sabía que no eran de mi nación, pero sabía que venían de varios lugares porque eran distintos. And I see in myself many people coming and dropping their knowledge, their songs, their ceremonies within the well. Y vi a mucha gente que vino a dejar sus canciones, sus ceremonias, sus conocimientos al pozo. So I was about five years old. This is around, it's 1967. And it was there that I hear my chief, my mother was my chief's clan mother, uh, under the title of, holding the title of Honor de Goa. Y era ahí cuando mi mami en aquel entonces sostenía el título de Honor de Goa. And my mother always kept me with her. I wanted to play outside, you know, like all the kids, but... She forced me to stay there, and I am very happy for that. Y bueno, yo así como que quería ir a jugar como cualquier niño, pero mi mamá me obligaba a quedarme ahí, y ahora le agradezco un montón eso. So it was there that I heard for the first time that all of our confederacies, which I knew, I grew up within the confederacy, that all of the confederacies of Turtle Island, North and South, used to meet every 52 years within the Mayan territory, within Dix Belém. Y es así que yo escuché desde niño que todas las confederaciones, tanto del sur como del norte, solían encontrarse cada 52 años en ese territorio de Tishbalan. So just to correlate this knowledge of the, the south, the far south, the medium south, and us, the far north. Y para correlacionar el conocimiento del de centro, el sur y el norte. That what I have learned within the, the confederacies is it's identified just within the symbol of the Five Nations Longhouse Confederacy. Lo que yo aprendí de las confederaciones está identificado simplemente en el símbolo de la confederación de las cinco naciones. That within the center, you have the central point. Que en el centro se tiene el punto central. So right now we'll talk on the levels of eyes. So this is the center or the mind's eye or whatever anybody calls it, you know, third eye, whatever anybody wants to refer to it as. Y si hablamos de ojos, pues este del centro sería lo que se llama como el tercer ojo o como le, se refiere a la gente a él. And so on either side is also, just like us, 
our eyes, left and right. Y en cada lado, como nuestra cara, está el ojo izquierdo y el ojo derecho. And as you know, the left and right eye does not see the same things. Y como saben, el ojo izquierdo y el derecho no ven las mismas cosas. They have different perceptions. Y tienen distintas percepciones. So the reality is, is we're seeing different parts of the night sky at, at uh, different times. Y vemos distintas partes del cielo en sus diferentes momentos. And so what the people are upon our mother earth is we are the eyes of mama. Y entonces es la gente que es los ojos de nuestra mami tierra. And so there was the eye of the self that was seeing what they were seeing. There was the eye of the north seeing what we are seeing. And just like in our eyes, they're seeing two different things. But the central point here uh, aligns those two, inverts it for uh, uh, complete comprehension. Y entonces el ojo del sur y el ojo del norte que ven las diferentes perspectivas que se juntan en el centro para invertirlas y que ambos lados puedan tener el conocimiento del otro. And so, like any living thing, we have our eyes set on something. Y como cualquier cosa viviente, tenemos nuestro ojo puesto encima de algo. So, let's say we're uh, uh, shooting a bow and arrow. We're out to hit our target. Entonces, digamos, estamos con un arco y una flecha y estamos listos para darle la mira a lo que tenemos en la mira. Then our physical living systems are dependent on this process of our eyes being aligned and inverted for comprehension so that we can physically hit our target. Entonces, va a ser nuestros ojos que tienen que estar listos para poder darle en el centro. And so, what both eyes see, the eyes of our Mother Earth is we see the central point, which you're identifying of the, the uh, what the world knows as the Pleiades, but what all natural peoples know as something related to that number seven. We identify them as the seven dancers. Y así como mencionaste, Lori, hay gente que le llama las Pleiades, pero obviamente cada nación tenía su forma también de llamarle. Y aquí tú hablaste de los siete, las siete hermanas, los siete hermanos. Aquí les decíamos los siete danzantes. And so what this is, for us, this central point in the entire Waterverse, it's the only place, as you know, within the Waterverse, that is the, uh, like the center. Everything else is moving like around it. You know, but the the center stays uh, just like on a clock. You know, it's the the central point where the arms may be moving, but that central point is staying in one place. Y bueno, el centro siempre va a guardar todo eh, central. Es decir, a lo mejor los brazos se van a mover, pero el centro permanece aquí. And so the great law of peace teaches us of our 10,000 year journey, where we are within this body, the eyes that we are, and the functions that we play within the entire body of Sky Woman. Y es entonces de ahí tan importante recordar este conocimiento de nuestras madres, que es el camino del maíz que ellas crearon, que viajó de sur a norte en 10,000 años y que es nuestro conocimiento colectivo de este hemisferio. And, uh, and so the living cosmovision of the people of the Five Nations Longhouse Confederacy y la cosmovisión viviente de la Confederación de las Cinco Naciones is that we are climbing up the rungs of DNA. So just imagine everybody like a step ladder that twists like DNA. Es que literalmente estamos subiendo las escaleras del ADN, o sea, como una escalera en caracol. So, and at the same time, place yourself within the amniotic fluid of our mother's belly, like when you were creating your baby. Y al mismo tiempo, hay que tener en vista la imagen del fluido amniótico de una madre como cuando tú tenías a tu bebecita dentro de tu vientre. So, all of the rest of the stuff of creation, all the stars, all the other stuff, this is in the amniotic fluid. This is all parts of us that are coming to uh, manifest us so that we can climb up that ladder towards that central point. Y entonces son todas esas estrellas, toda esa materia que se encuentra afuera, que se está constituyendo para poder dar esa escalada hacia arriba. And so we have to really think deeply of if we're in the body of our mother, what would be the central point for us, the point that doesn't move? Y si estamos en el cuerpo de nuestra madre, entonces, ¿cuál sería ese punto central el que no se mueve? And this is what the, the seven dancers are. They are the umbilical cord. Y eso es exactamente lo que son los siete danzantes. Ellos son el cordón umbilical. And just like the baby that's following you in your footsteps, 
that that was her central point of connection to you, where she grew from, where she knew everything was coming from, where she knew she had to go to. Y como esa bebecita que creció en ti y que está creciendo es ese cordón umbilical que ella sabía exactamente qué le estabas dando, cómo la estabas formando, qué estabas surgiendo. And basically the reason why this was common knowledge between all peoples, even in the non-native people on the other side of the world before they got the male dominant corruption. Y esto era algo que todo el mundo sabía eh, antes de que llegara esta corrupción masculina. Uh, so, uh, wait, where was I? I just got a disruption here. What, 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 uh, where did I let off? Uh, that was something that all of our people had before the male dominance came. Oh, okay, because it's intrinsic. As you know, we come from the stars. We didn't get our life from here on earth, like it was created here, because the earth was created from everything else out there. And so because all of this is within us, that it is an intrinsic knowledge within all living people. Y sabemos que este es un conocimiento intrínseco en todas las personas. Uh, and so uh, this is how our people kept the, the knowledge of what the, the ladies or the seven dancers are in relation to our evolution here on our Mother Earth. Y es así como la gente conservó el conocimiento de lo que serían las pléyades, o los siete danzantes, las siete hermanas en nuestra madre tierra. So if you, uh, again, imagine that we're on that uh, uh, DNA ladder and we're to climb it, obviously, that means we got to turn around. As we're looking up, we're seeing the seven dancers, the Pleiades, and it looks like they're turning, but it's us that's turning. It's us that are climbing up that ladder. Entonces, desde nuestra perspectiva, cuando vemos las pléyades, estamos viendo como que son ellas las que están girando, pero en toda realidad somos nosotros los que estamos girando y que estamos subiendo esa escalera. And how those seven dancers are identified, what they are, is that it identifies the, the phases of evolution. Y los siete danzantes, ¿cómo se identifican? Identifican las fases de la evolución. Uh, I'll give you a short, the short story of it within the Five Nations Confederacy. Y eh, me gustaría contarte la versión corta dentro de la Confederación de las Cinco Naciones. That the elders were corrupted now, that they had kicked the children out of the longhouse, which meant that they stopped the, the ceremonies, they stopped the knowledge of creation. Y es que los mayores se habían corrupto a un grado que habían dejado de hacer sus ceremonias y que habían literalmente sacado a los niños de la casa larga. So all the elders were fighting in the longhouse. The children were left outside without the, the elders. Y los adultos estaban peleando todo el tiempo y habían dejado a los niños afuera. And so the, the children remembered because there was, as, as it's identified, that the eldest was a 12-year-old boy and they went all the way down until there was just a little, a uh, young little girl, like uh, uh, a toddler, like able to walk and talk. Y había niños que estaban siendo dirigidos por un niño de 12 años y había de todas las edades hasta una pequeñita que apenas estaba caminando. And the intrinsic knowledge was for them to continue the ceremony. So they continued in the songs and dances that the elders had forgotten. They were stuck in this corruption in their minds in the longhouse. Y el conocimiento era que habían perdido las ceremonias, es decir, habían sido sacados de la casa larga y todo eso lo habían perdido. So as they started to dance, as they danced, they started to rise off of the earth. This is to identify the evolution, how it happens, and it goes counterclockwise like our DNA. Pero cuando empezaron a recuperar ese conocimiento, empezaron a danzar y mientras danzaban lo hacían en sentido antihorario y se empezaron a levantar del suelo. This means that the children were evolving and the elders were staying in corruption, which meant that the distance between them was getting greater and greater. Lo que significa que los niños estaban evolucionando y los adultos se quedaron en el statu quo, lo que implica que su distancia entre ellos cada vez era más grande. When the elders were alerted of this, they ran out of the longhouse and they started to regret their actions and crying to their children, please come back. Y cuando los adultos se dieron cuenta que los niños estaban levantando, eh, salieron corriendo y empezaron a, a, a decir, oh, qué arrepentimiento, y empezaron a decirles, regresen, por favor. And it was at this time that the oldest one leading the song and the dance identified, do not look back. If you look back, you will fall to the earth. 
Y fue en ese momento que el mayor les dijo, no volteen para abajo porque si lo hacen, se van a caer. And the youngest one, the little girl, heard her mother crying, come back, come back. And the little girl was not old enough yet, you know, she was still connected basically like at the umbilical cord to her mom. Y ahí fue cuando la más chiquita, cuando escuchó a su mamá decirle, eh, vuelve, vuelve, pues todavía estaba tan conectada a su cordón umbilical. And this is where today's modern day corruption of that a woman fell through a hole in the sky world because she didn't listen to her husband. This is where it comes from. But it was a little girl who was uh, 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 distracted by her mother crying for her that when she looked back that that little girl fell to the earth and became what we know today as the shooting stars, that they are the, the comets, the asteroids, whatever, that comes from out there and creates the building blocks of life here for us. Y es debido a esta historia que hoy cuentan esta corrupción de que ay, la mujer del cielo cayó de un hoyo porque no había escuchado a su esposo y no le había hecho caso. O sea, estas historias de dominación masculina corrupta son falsas, pero derivan de eso, de esta historia de que esta niña pequeñita eh, cayó uh, por haber eh, extrañado a su madre. And so the, the, the seven dancers, then when we look at it and the world thinks of it like as a big dipper, they look at it like that. But what they're not seeing is that it's a spiral, that it is a spiral, you can see the beginning of it, but you, at a certain point, you can't see it anymore where it's going to. Y eh, estamos hablando de los siete danzantes que son como una especie de espiral y es decir, es una espiral en el sentido de que el punto de partida no se puede ver y no se ve hacia dónde va. And so this is the, uh, within the Five Nations Longhouse Confederacy, the knowledge that was passed down from generation to generation as to what all of this would be just addressed, what it uh, identifies. It is a much larger thing than what we can imagine. Y esta es la historia que se ha pasado de la casa larga de generación en generación que identifica algo más grande de lo que hoy se comprende. Because as we are within the body of Sky Woman, porque como estamos dentro del cuerpo de la mujer cielo, we are within the living processes. Estamos dentro de los procesos vivientes. And the evolution of physical matter identifies that whatever has grown will reach its maximum potential, it will wither and die, and the next one will grow from it. Y el proceso de la evolución indica que algo va a crecer, evolucionar, y que va a marchitarse para darle paso al siguiente. So uh, what we look up again in, in, into Sky Woman and see the seven dancers, we are the baby in her womb, and that is the umbilical cord. Y lo que eh, ubicamos en los siete danzantes es que nosotros somos el bebé y estamos conectados a ese cordón umbilical. And within the whole cosmovision of the people. Y dentro de esta cosmovisión de la gente. Is when you think of like if you're going to physically climb that ladder, there's a lot of mechanics that has to happen within you. Si se piensa que hay que subir una escalera, pues hay muchas cosas a nivel mecánico que tienen que producirse. And these mechanics are within the living body of Sky Woman, which means that actions of ours are emotions and dreams of hers. Y esta mecánica significa que lo que son nuestras emociones, nuestras esperanzas, nuestros sueños, de hecho, vienen de ella. And so our ceremonial practices of songs and dances and giving thanks, the, the proper way of interaction, uh, interacting within peace, these are on the very basic levels of how the thought gets transferred into 38 trillion cells within your body to do anything that we do. Y todos nuestros sueños a través de las ceremonias, las danzas, los cantos, es algo que se manifiesta para que el punto central de conciencia pueda indicar de las 38 trillones de células que tenemos. Esta es la agenda. Okay, so the story of the seven dancers is a lot more than that. There's a lot more knowledge to it than that. But for right now, that's like in a nutshell so that we can have this basic vision of what the people of the North have always been following. We're following something in creation. That's how the people got from the south to the north. Y bueno, hay muchas más detalles de esta historia, pero nada más para identificar que justamente las pléyades, los siete danzantes, son como el punto central de la visión, de la observación de los pueblos de sur a norte. And this thing flowed through your people. 
it flowed to the far north. And it's what today, what the scientists, what they discovered, uh, I don't know, I think it was about 2015, uh, and what the in, uh, Inuit identified as the Tiktaalik. Y esto fluye hasta tu territorio, hasta donde se encuentran. Y eso es también lo que los Inuit identificaron como el Tiktaalik. Other peoples of the South identify it as the crocodile. Otra gente del sur lo identifican como el cocodrilo. Or the alligator, or the serpent. O el lagarto, o la serpiente. Because for us, just imagine, on that very small scale, for us, we know that there's DNA within us, and we know that it looks like a little string of spaghetti or something. Porque para nosotros, bueno, sabemos que el ADN está ahí, y pues lo representamos como dos pedazos de spaghetti. This is the tiktaalik. This is that serpent, that life that we are all following. Y esa es el tiktaalik de la vida que estamos siguiendo. Yeah. There you go, Lori. Yeah, thanks. No, it's it's really nice. And uh, it made me think, you know, about, because um, you were telling that story, and uh, I recall many, many versions of that story. And like you were also mentioning many different vision of what the Pleiades are in the sky and they're all important and they all means the same thing, you know, it's that connection. And at the beginning also, you mentioned that special moment coming up, the, the solar eclipse on the April 8th. Um, and um, a lot of people uh, were wondering and they asked me like, oh, so what, what, are, what do we expect, you know, on that day? How's it going to be? And uh we're fortunate the the total eclipse will be visible uh near here and near near montreal I'll actually be in montreal for the the solar eclipse if you're in the area you'll you might be able to see the total eclipse and then it'll continue its way all the way up to the the east coast and um we uh we did a little project by trying to gather stories about eclipses from the communities along the path And uh, right now I have only like a draft of, it, of a video, but we made a little video <laughs> um, to tell stories. Wow. Entonces dice Lori, sí, eso me encanta que estés hablando de todas esas historias distintas de los siete danzantes, bueno, las pléyades, y eh, me hiciste pensar en todas las historias que he escuchado justamente acerca de eso, y también me hizo recordar que al inicio mencionaste acerca del eclipse total de sol que va a ocurrir el 8 de abril, y que va a pasar justamente por este territorio. Si están en la zona de Montreal, lo más probable es que lo vayan a ver. Entonces, eh, me hace pensar acerca de la importancia de eso también. Yeah, and, uh, it was meant to tell stories about eclipses, but what I realized was that for, for many people across, you know, across the north, eclipses mean, mean peace. It's, uh, it's related to the Great Peace Treaty, it is related to just a special moment, you know, of connection. And um, I really hope that on that day, we are lucky enough to witness it, to feel it, and uh, to remember that, uh, to remember how eclipses in the past have also brought peace to us. And um, you'll see some of the stories that are shared are from the Oneida uh, Nation, uh, Mohawk Nation, and Inu. And oh, thanks, perfect. Yeah, we'll see here the, the path of the eclipse. So um, I'll share a link in the chat. It's a it's a draft, but there will be a, um, uh, yeah, there will be a, a final version eventually, but at least you'll have access to it if you, if you want to, um, if you want to use it. Uh, oh, I cannot put it in the chat. Oh, well, I'll send it by email then and later maybe. Um, you can share it. Um, do you have this? Uh, this is the translate for her first. Uh, entonces, I can do this. Oh. Estoy recolectando varias historias justamente acerca de lo que los pueblos han tenido en relación a los eclipses, sus percepciones, lo que ven, lo que saben. Y en la mayoría fueron historias compartidas por los Sonaida, por los Mojo, por los Inu. Y se trata justamente de la paz. El eclipse está relacionado a la llegada de la paz, al establecimiento de la paz, al tratado de la paz. Todo va enfocado a esto. Do you have this uh, short video clip right now? Like, could we share it here? Could we watch it right now? And um, I sent the link. It's about, um, I think it's about 16 minutes. So it's a little long. <laughs> um, 
but you're welcome to go after and 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 look and take a look at it. We um we share those three stories. There's a story about Sky Women. There's a story about the signature of the big uh, peace treaty for Six Nation. There's a story of Tsakapesh from the Inu Nation, and we also talk about the words, the meaning of the words moon, sun, eclipses, and the different nation. Um, and that's the content of it. So if you're curious, you can go take a look. <laughs> Entonces, Lori justamente acaba de enviar esta pequeña uh, recopilación de historias que está aquí. Y bueno, es aproximadamente 16 minutos lo que esto dura. Entonces nos recomienda que lo vayamos a ver después, pero que es justamente esta recopilación de diferentes historias de las uh, diferentes naciones en relación al eclipse. Mm. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, obviously, then, if it's that long, we won't be able to watch it right now, but we yeah. will. Then, uh, if we could have some, like, uh, maybe further communication, uh, I guess, maybe during the week, or at least before this happens, the event happens. Entonces, bueno, obviamente, si va a durar 16 minutos, no lo vamos a ver en su totalidad ahorita, pero muchísimas gracias por compartirlo, y tal vez podamos darle referencia más tarde para que podamos seguir en esta conversación. Okay, if you don't mind right now, if you could uh, expand on this, what, what everybody heard since they were kids. Uh, you probably went through this in school. I know I remember this. Uh, don't look at a solar eclipse. It'll burn your eyes out. I remember getting a, a, a shoebox, you know, to cut a little hole in it to watch, to watch it that way. Uh, what is it? Why is it that uh, it makes people blind when we can look yeah. at... I know that people are getting more and more afraid with what has been said in the news. And but I have to translate first, though, so that people know what you're answering. Yeah, to. yeah. So, so first of all, I, I want to. Oh, please go ahead. Yeah. La pregunta de Stuart es que si se ha escuchado mucho acerca de los eclipses solares, que si uno los ve directamente a los ojos, pum, no, nos va a quemar la retina, nos va a dejar ciegos. Entonces, ¿por qué ocurre esto? So it, it, I want to say that it is true that looking at the sun at any time, you know, of the year is bad for your eyes. And we naturally don't look at the sun for very long. Uh, we know better. Our body knows knows better. Um, y bueno, primero quiero decir que naturalmente no vamos a ver al sol directamente en cualquier día normal, porque inclusive nuestro cuerpo sabe que si lo hace nos va a dañar la vista. Entonces no lo hacemos. Yeah. So during an eclipse... We can't help ourselves. It's a beautiful moment, and the, the moon is there, and we can see it, and we want to stare at it, but that is dangerous. And um, for that reason, we need to use uh, special glasses that are made for solar eclipse. Um, and uh, they are really thick. You can't see any other light but the sunlight in it. Like, uh, I have actually one right here I can show you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I would definitely not wear that outside because believe me, I can only see pitch black. <laughs> um, but if you have one of those during the eclipse, you'll be able to see the sun through it. That's what you need. Or you can build a um, little device with a hole in a box and see the reflection through it on a piece of paper. So you're not looking directly at it. Y bueno, en general, eh, por eso la gente tiene la tendencia a querer verlo cuando es el, el eclipse total, porque es como, ay, es algo que está dando el sol, es algo nuevo, entonces todo el mundo quiere verlo, pero es ahí justo donde hay que verlo menos. Entonces, para eso, hoy con la tecnología se tienen unos lentes como los que Lori nos acaba de enseñar, o inclusive se puede construir una especie de aparatito, ¿no? Bien hecho en casa para eh, poder observarlo de forma eh, en seguridad. We, we all see all kind of advertisements now, especially for these glasses, like, hey, buy it online now, $24 or something like that. But the reality is also is that that is quite simply the same thing as what you, the, the lens that you have in a, in a welding hood. Like when you're welding and you see the arc light? Very similar. Yeah, it's very similar. They have to be graded for the sun. Yeah. Stuart dice, hay un montón ahora de ofertas que vemos en línea, ¿no? Cómprate dos pares por 24 o 40, no sé cuánto, ¿no? Entonces, bueno, la realidad es que esto es un poco como cuando se hace soldadura, ¿no? Los hombres tienen que utilizar estos como, ¿no? Visores cubiertos. Y es más o menos el mismo material. So, for, for the poor people to be able to uh, uh, witness this also, 
like a like a Lori identified, you can make that shoebox thing. But also, if you know somebody who's a welder, you can borrow or use a welding hood, and or or at the very least, you know, maybe uh, put something dark around the lens so that it's not gonna have any penetration from the sides. And you can use a lens out of welding hood. Y bueno, eh, para la gente que no tiene mucho dinero, pues está medio pelón tener estos eh, accesorios. Digo, a pesar de que sí pueden construir la cajita de zapatos, a lo mejor si conocen a alguien que hace soldadura, le pueden pedir su casco para que le puedan ver por ahí. But from your knowledge, have you ever heard science explain why it burns your eyes out? Why you go yeah. blind? So, so, you know, our eyes are you know are meant to focus the light so it's a big lens right uh and so i don't know if you've ever played when i was young i loved to play with uh magnifiers uh you know you would go outside with a magnifier and you would just like trying to put it in a special place so that the sunlight would focus and then you could burn a piece of wood or uh you know like draw something just by burning the wood with the sunlight it's the same thing that happens so if you're actually looking at the sun you're basically focusing your lens so that all of the power of the sun gets onto your retina. Uh, and that that's how it gets burns. It's the same same mechanism. So that's why you don't look at it directly. Entonces, la pregunta de Stuart es para Lori, eh, pero de la ciencia, ¿qué has escuchado del por qué te va a quemar los ojos? Y Lori se acuerda de ¿no? cuando éramos niños, siempre queríamos salir con lupas para poner la concentración de la luz en un punto para que pudiésemos hacer fuego en un pedazo de madera, un papel, lo que fuera, ¿no? Entonces, es exactamente ese mismo efecto que se produce cuando la concentración de la luz en un pedazo muy específico da a los ojos y es por eso que los puede quemar. You know, all my life, uh, I've been interested in eclipses, you know, I've been interested in the stars because... Ever since I was born, all of our stories are about Sky Woman. All of our stories, our history, our, our knowledge is about Grandma Moon in relation to this thing, that thing. The alignment of the planets is what gave birth also to the Five Nations Longhouse Confederacy. So it's always a uh, it's always been a connection to out there, which is uh, our foundation. Y eh, desde que yo era niño, todas las historias, historias de las estrellas, eh, todo, eh, todo me fascinaba porque yo sabía que lo que hacíamos aquí estaba íntimamente ligado a lo, a lo de allá debido a todas las historias que yo escuché desde niño. So I, I personally looked, and it doesn't mean anything because it's me, but I personally looked for uh, information, knowledge from science as to why does the eye go blind at that time? Because as you know, We can look at the sun, like today, we can go out and look at the sun, but it won't burn our, it won't make us go blind. But just at that time, when the moon is blocking out the sunlight, when you're, does it make any sense then that that light could yeah. burn our y yo busqué información desde siempre por qué nos podía quemar eh, la, la vista, ¿no? Y no había como información que hiciera sentido del por qué justamente. Yeah, and the thing is, you know, on a normal setting, we do look at the sunset, you know, you glare at the sun for a few uh, few seconds here and there, then you see a spot, you know, after after looking at it for a little too long. Well, that spot is that little bit of heat that was created when you started looking at the sun. Um, a sunset sun is not as dangerous because it's so low on the horizon that it goes through a lot of the atmosphere and Uh, the light get, gets to us as, not as powerful as the one that we get from up there. Es bien interesante esto porque obviamente eh, a veces nos encanta ver los atardeceres, ¿no? Pero cuando estamos viendo el atardecer, ese sol que nos deja como una especie de puntito después de que se mete es el calor que se estaba acumulando ya en el ojo. Pero este sol lo podemos ver porque está en el horizonte y pasa por muchas capas de la atmósfera antes de llegar a nosotros en comparación a lo que es cuando está en el cenit encima de nosotros. Okay, just, just... Oh, uh, oh yeah, I, I just, just when I had, you know, our body also knows the pain. It, it actually would be painful to look at the sun longer. Um, it's just that during an eclipse, people with the excitement might forget about their pain and kind of go through it. And that's when it gets very dangerous. When you look at 
the sun set for a little too long, it starts to feel a little so sensitive and you, you see that spot, you stop. Your body knows better. But uh, the danger during the eclipse is that you don't listen to your body and, and that you look at it for too long. <laughs> Y en tiempos normales nuestro cuerpo va a saberlo, va a sentir incluso el dolor de ese punto que se está concentrando más en el calor en el ojo y va a decir, no, ya no lo veo. El problema con los eclipses es que la gente puede ser tan emocionada de ver ese fenómeno que no se ve tan seguido, que pueden verlo por más tiempo, no escuchar a su cuerpo, no sentir tanto el dolor y es ahí en donde se vuelve peligroso. Okay, just to play the devil's advocate on that, to, to, to get through to all the different perceptions of it to see which perception could uh, best explain this. Y si hacemos como la perspectiva completamente opuesta de esto, nada más para que podamos tener todas las perspectivas y considerarlas. As everybody knows, and probably you too, I know your people do that when the uh, uh, summer solstice comes around, there is always something of celebration, ceremonial, that everybody has uh, what they do. Bueno, sabemos que a veces hay eh, cuestiones ceremoniales y sabemos qué es lo que la gente hace. So for us, the ceremony is referred to as the shoot the sun. Y para nosotros en el solsticio de verano, esa ceremonia se identifica como a dispararle al sol. And this is done right at high noon, when at the summer solstice, when the sun is at its peak. Y esto ocurre justamente a mediodía cuando el sol se encuentra en su punto cúspide. And it's always been a male, uh, a male thing, that, something that the males have to do. And so we shoot our arrow direct into the sun. And so myself, personally, I know that all my life, I've done 61 of these now, that uh, uh, you see the sun, uh, could be cloudy sometimes, but it's been sunny points, that... We look at the sun in high noon, and it'll do the same thing, just like at sunset. You know, it puts spots in your eyes, but we won't go blind. Y esto normalmente, eh, bueno, se hace por los hombres. Son los hombres los que van a agarrar un arco y una flecha y van a disparar al sol. Es eh, representación de toda esta fuerza masculina que está en ese momento. Y bueno, los hombres que lo hacen, pues... A veces están viendo hacia el sol y, bueno, es como hay mucha luz, ¿no? Se puede hacer como puntitos en los ojos. But the important parallel here as to what everybody knows, what you identify too, is that in the summertime we all experience using a magnifying glass and we were able to burn something, you know. Some kids burned ants, some kids just set leaves on fire. Pero lo importante es este paralelo que haces, ¿no? De la lupa, de, de cómo va a quemar, o sea, concentrarse para hacer ejercicios de quemar un pedazo de papel o una hoja. No, it's not the sun doing that, it's the magnification of it. Y no va a ser el sol que va a hacer eso como tal, sino la magnificación, la concentración de su luz. Focusing all those photons, you know, like in a very concentrated area. Concentrando todos esos fotones en un área bien específica. So, this is the knowledge of the longhouse. Y este es el conocimiento de la casa larga. Is that the heart, uh, the grandma moon is the beating heart of Mother Earth. Y es que abuelita luna es el corazón latiente de nuestra no. mami tierra. There's a whole bunch to the moon teachings to, to it, but just to identify that uh, as the beating heart, the heart, just like in our body, is full of blood. And uh, the blood of our Mother Earth is water. Grandma moon is full of blood, full of water. Y bueno, hay mucha conexión a las enseñanzas de la luna con esto para explicar cómo que nuestra abuela luna es literalmente el corazón latiente de nuestra madre tierra. Entonces, como cualquier corazón que se encuentra lleno de sangre, nuestra abuela luna se encuentra llena de agua. So, this is, just imagine, Grandma Moon. Entonces, imaginemos que esta es abuelita luna. And this is what a total solar eclipse will look like. Y un eclipse total solar se vería como esto. So, if this is the sun, si este es el sol, let me lower this concentration a little bit. Le bajo un poquito. Okay, so as the moon is coming by, mientras la luna pasa por enfrente, that's what happens to us. Eso es Magnified. Lo que nos pasa. 
hacen magnifica. And so this is the reason why that when you look at only a total solar eclipse, when you're looking at the sun, we think it's just the sunlight. No, it's because Grandma Moon being water, no, not, there is physical mass to her, but the fact is, is that water is all around her. So when that gets directly in between us and the sun, it magnifies it, and that's what burns out the corona of the eye. Because when it's magnified, just like we all experience, burning ants or leaves with a magnifying glass. Y es exactamente el paralelo para explicar de la lupa que cuando se concentra y quemamos hojas o pedazos de madera, pues eso ocurre cuando vuela la luna sobre nosotros en un eclipse solar. And the, the reality of a, a total solar eclipse, meaning that Grandma Moon is directly in between us and the sun, which means that the far side of the moon is closest to the sun that it's ever been, closer than the full moon, and that it is at that point that the heat on the far side of the moon is so intense that it releases, just like us, when we get hot, it releases uh, sweat out of our body. And the around the entire moon is uh, this body of water that is then caught in the photons of the sun uh, and solar winds, brings that to our mother earth which replenishes the blood of the earth but at that time a total solar eclipse is so intense because it's magnified through water that's how it burns our eyes y bueno también considerando que cuando estamos en el eclipse es la luna nueva y que toda el agua que se había acumulado en la parte que nunca vemos de abuela luna ahora está siendo calentada por el sol esa agua se evapora y es captada en la forma de los fotones que llega con la fuerza del viento solar hacia nuestra madre tierra. Entonces, todo eso viene hacia nosotros con la fuerza de hermano mayor el sol mediante abuela luna y con un eclipse, pues se magnifica aún más. When we started doing the, uh, sharing the moon teachings again in 2009, that, of course, science, people that we knew were arguing against us, saying, there's no water on the moon. Y cuando empezamos a hacer las enseñanzas de la luna en 2009, había gente que nos decía, no, pero están locos, ¿cómo va a haber agua en la luna? Eso no es posible. And all, all, almost all the teachings that we've done about the uh, Grandma Moon, that all of this was put online. Y todo lo que hacíamos en relación a la abuelita luna está en línea. And it's really only since 2009 that we've seen science coming out more with identifying, yeah, there's water on the moon. First, they're saying these little specks within the craters that there's ice there. And then identifying, yes, there's water in this place and that place. And then there's water on the interior. Soon they're going to arrive at the only conclusion that is uh, the what natural science identifies of what our grandma moon actually is in relation to us. Y fue después que la ciencia empezó a salir diciendo, ah, sí, hay un poco de cristales de agua por aquí. Ah, y también descubrimos agua congelada por acá. Y entonces después ya se volvió de conocimiento de la ciencia que había agua en la luna. Which is why the path of totality, can we share that image again? The path of totality is not where the magic happens. Y es por eso que no es necesariamente en el camino de la totalidad que la magia ocurre. Where the magic happens, because if, if you picture like, a, say like a shower head, you know, in, in the center of the shower, you know, uh, there's no, uh, uh, like no water coming out of that. It's coming out sort of like a spray from all around. So if you're right in the center, you'd actually be able to stay dry. Y bueno, eh, es todo lo que se encuentra concentrado es la la forma en la que está pasando y es ahí en donde podría quedarse seco, digamos que no hay agua escurriéndose. So the power focal points in a total solar eclipse is not in the path of totality. It's just to the outer edge where the actual sunlight is uh, is not blocked out by the moon and where there the water around Grandma Moon is amplified. So what this means is that all along that uh, pathway is a path of activation that eldest brother to son, Grandma Moon, magnifying her blood, is activating things here on Earth the same way like we would, what a magnifying glass would burn a pile of leaves or something. Yes, justamente, Stuart. 
Uh, por eso que es en la parte externa que ahí es donde se concentra, porque es ahí justo donde es como que la, la lupa está llegando con más intensidad en esa parte. Okay, Laurie, we understand that you have to leave. So uh, before you go, if you can, any final statements on this, but also anything that you find of really points of interest in the cosmos that really, you know, really gets your fires going. Y bueno, yeah. las, las últimas palabras que nos quieras decir algo de que está ocurriendo en el cosmos que te uh, emociona mucho. Yeah, I think that that I'll be focused on that eclipse until it happens. So I. I I hope that everybody uh, gets to see or feel this this moment, this special moment that uh, uh, you're maybe lucky enough to do it with family, uh, and um, and I really hope it's going to make a difference. I hope that people after the eclipse feel more connected with each other, that um, the different communities also uh, feel more connected. Uh, it's a time for that. Uh, so that's what I hope uh, for the upcoming eclipse. And uh, I'll be in Montreal, so maybe I'll, I'll get to see you guys. <laughs> y Lori dice que va a estar súper enfocadísima en el eclipse de aquí hasta que ocurra. Entonces, que realmente desea que la gente pueda prepararse de ahí a ese entonces para justamente darle la bienvenida a la paz y que después de ese evento la gente pueda sentir más la conectividad, que puedan estar las comunidades más conectadas, que entonces que ojalá lo puedan hacer en familia porque ese es el momento, y bueno, ella va a venir a Montreal justamente para ese entonces, entonces tal vez nos podamos encontrar. Ok, if you can be in water on that day, especially with your daughter, or if you can have your waters also in bottles to be activated, this is what everybody should do, especially the life givers. Entonces, sobre todo las dadoras de vida, salgan al agua, si pueden estar dentro del agua mm. con su llevita, con Bea, eh, Lori, <laughs> We got, we're going to be activating our maple waters with that. Wonderful. <laughs> It was nice to see you all, guys. Have a okay, good day. Okay, go, Laurie. Say hi to the whole family and give a big hug and kiss to the baby for us. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Come on>. <laughs> Okay, so uh, was there anybody from the well, south that got here yet? Tata, uh, Tata Mam from uh, Tishbalam, the one that uh, taught us Tishbalam, but I don't see that he has audio. So I already told him that I don't see that he has audio. There's somebody there that is trying to help him, we can tell. But uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it's, it's too bad that nobody was here uh, in time because Lori Russo Nipton, the woman who was just with us, is the world's first uh, 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 life giver, uh, native astrophysicist. She's of the Innu nation. Y es una pena que no hubo nadie del sur para interactuar con ella porque ella es la primera astrofísica Innu de la nación Innu. And so it would have been really good if anybody like from different perceptions was able to cross-reference things, but, well, that opportunity is gone now. But it doesn't mean that we cannot continue our uh, interaction and sharing on this world's greatest event that is coming up. Pero eso no significa que eso nos impida que hablemos de este gran evento que viene. And just so you know, there's a Shani Piaf there. I mean, they are in their event with Angel. Angel is there. And there's also a Susan with a Bandy, and they are with the family uh, that has been uh, persecuted, uh, the Bourdon family. So okay, well, uh, before we go to the Bourdon family, then we're going to stay on this issue right now. Of what's happening in the cosmos and as soon as we get through this then we'll, we'll address your issue and we'll ask you if you can stay because uh, your information then can get to other people's y eh, le decía Stuart que nada más para que sepamos eh, quiénes están ahí también está a uh, Shani Piaf que es nuestra amiga de la nación Inu que está en Wendague está Angel haciendo la vinculación con ella en ese momento también tenemos a Susan que está conectada con Bandy y con la familia Burdón que han sido eh, perseguidos últimamente por cuestiones obviamente de búsqueda de identidad que nos puedan dar sus noticias entonces Stuart dice, vamos a quedarnos por el momento en este tema 
del eclipse y todo lo que conlleva para después cerrar y pasar a el siguiente tema. Okay, so right now, just to kind of manage the the people that are here, is there anybody present that ha that is uh, uh, here to address the topic of uh, the total solar eclipse of the peoples that were invited to address this thing? Y entonces uh, sería cuestión de preguntar si hay alguien de aquí que esté conectado, que su objetivo justamente era para venir a presentar conocimiento que tengan sobre el eclipse o los um, calendarios, la cuenta del tiempo. If not, then we're going to go first to, if we can, to uh, Jani Piap, to, uh, through Angel, that's in Quebec City right now, that are discussing Uh, or, or informing the people of what is happening also within the Inu nation. Y eh, si no hay nadie más, entonces le podríamos decir a Angel si fuera posible que conectásemos con uh, Shani Piat, que se está ahorita encontrando con gente en la ciudad de Quebec para eh, decirles qué es justamente lo que está ocurriendo con la nación Inu. Okay, so nobody has their hand up about the total solar eclipse, so then let's see if we can communicate with uh, Jenny Piaf then in Quebec City. Entonces no hay nadie que haya levantado su mano. Uh, just let me try this. Tata, Tata, uh, Tata Mam, vemos que está conectado. No sé si nos está escuchando. Uh, si nos puede escuchar y que pueda decir algo para que pueda interactuar con nosotros. I'm telling to Tata Mam that we see that he's connected, but I don't see that he's got audio, so if he could say something to see that he's listening actually to us. When you say he don't think he's got audio, meaning that he can't hear us or or he just can't speak and we can't hear him? Either or, because usually for the participants, we can tell who has audio, that meaning mm -hmm. that they can hear us and we can hear them. But if we don't see that audio, we don't really know what is that. Okay, so yeah, right now we're getting information that maybe you can try to get out and try logging in again and, you know, maybe it'll reboot the thing. Y si puede a lo mejor tratar de conectarse de nuevo para ver si así podemos resolver el, um, el problema. Okay, but for right now. Okay, yeah, so for right now, uh, Angel, are you, can you hear us? Are you there? Y por el momento, yes, I can. Está Tama, Tata Khalid, no? Oh, that oh, was Angel. That was where Angel was. She's hearing somebody talking in the background. Okay, okay. So she says that she can hear us. Yes. Okay, Angel, is there any possibility that we uh, can get uh, uh, to? To, to talk with Jenny Piap, is that possible right now? Or would she be available for that communication later, possibly? Angel, así como ves las cosas, ¿crees que podamos hablar con Jenny Piap ahorita o que sea más posible más tarde? Uh, she says, there is someone presenting from the Mackenzie family right now. Ella dice que hay alguien que está presentando el asunto de la familia Mackenzie en este momento. Okay, before we go any further in the communication there with uh, Angel, where she is in Quebec City, there is a uh, press conference or an information session being held by the Inu Nation, by well, members of the Inu Nation, relating about a recent, uh, um, what can we say, except a land grab by the government. You know, to steal more land, to uh, bring in development for more logging and more destruction of the land. Y eh, bueno, para que todo el mundo esté al tanto de lo que está ocurriendo en esta conferencia, es que eh, gente de la Nación Inú ha estado defendiendo su tierra porque les están llegando con más camiones para cortar más árboles, para apoderarse más de sus tierras y ellos están defendiendo. Y en este momento están uh, pasando esta información a la gente. Angel also says that we could maybe speak later today in the questions period with her. Y Angel sugiere que tal vez más tarde, en, la peri en el periodo de preguntas, eh, pudiésemos hablar con ella más tarde. Oh, ok, en el meantime, uh, can we get a map? Get a Google map, let's show Quebec City where they are, but also we'll show the Inu territory where this incident has happened. This took place about 
Uh, two months about a month ago, right? Month no, and a half. It's been more than that. Two months ago. Oh, like three or four, if not even more. So you see, it's almost like really almost uh, half a year ago, and they're only coming out with this information now because they're so far in the bush, you know, that they don't have internet, they don't have that kind of access. These are bush people. Y para que tengamos todos una idea de la geografía de la que estamos hablando, vamos a sacar un mapa para ver la ciudad de Quebec en donde se encuentran y el territorio Inú en donde estaban haciendo este bloqueo. Y ese Stand asunto up. del bloqueo ocurrió desde hace como tal vez unos más de cuatro Stand o cinco up. meses, a pesar de que Stuart pensaba que tenía apenas uno o dos meses. Es que están tan recónditos en el bosque que ni siquiera tienen a veces forma de salir a comunicarse, de tener acceso a internet o de poder hacer este More. tipo de encuentros de esa forma. Ok, so right now the map that you're seeing, that's the red dot, is Quebec City. Expand out more. Uh, and by the way, um, um, okay. Angel says that they start the sacred fire in August, the beginning of August. And uh, yeah. Y entonces Angel nos confirma que empezaron el fuego sagrado en su territorio desde el inicio de agosto. Okay, so that is six months ago. It basically happened last year. And they're only now getting uh, the information out. Entonces estamos hablando de hace seis meses y es apenas ahorita que están uh, sacando la información al público. Ok, so the map that you're seeing is basically where they are right now in Quebec City. Right yeah. there. El mapa que ven aquí es en donde están en la ciudad de Quebec. But where the uh, event or the, uh, uh, the violations upon the people has been happening is it's approximately right around where my uh, cursor is right now. So it's hundreds of miles away where there is no road access, you know, and it's not easy access. They basically got to tramp through the, through the forest, through the bush, through the swamps to get here. Entonces el punto rojito es donde está ahorita ocurriendo la conferencia, pero acá arriba, can you point it out again? Es en donde estamos hablando de donde ocurre el asunto. Entonces, ven, están en medio del bosque que tienen que llegar casi por camino de terracería, que no hay fácil acceso. And that is Inu territory. Y ese es el territorio Inu. And so what was happening there is that uh, the Inu are really, as you can see, the land, the people are really isolated from everything else. Y como se puede deducir, pues la gente que vive ahí está completamente aislada del resto. So for them, it's not easy to uh, communicate with the rest of the world or to, you know, like to interact like in a timely fashion. Y para ellos, pues no es tan fácil así como que interactuar con la gente uh, muy uh, rápidamente, digamos. So this event that they're doing there today, it's very important and we wanted to hook up with them so that they could share the information. But uh, right now, the way it seems like it's only going to be I don't know, maybe in an uh, hour, hour and a half or something like that when it comes time for question period. Y uh, uh, tal vez esto ahorita no pueda ocurrir, sino más bien en una hora o dos o algo así. Okay, so the purpose for this, sharing this information is so that all of us from north to south can align with one common knowledge as to what is happening to all of us at the same time. doesn't matter where we are. We could be in... Uh, uh, Peru, we could be in Quebec, at any point in between, and it is the same, still the same systemic racial genocide that is happening upon all of us, but to make these connections, we'll have a person come into modern day reality of that colonization is not a thing of the past, it is an ongoing thing of the present. Y bueno, la idea de que nos pongamos en este proceso, que lo que está ocurriendo en el norte pueda ser sabido en el sur, es para que nos alineemos con lo que nos está ocurriendo a todos en nuestros territorios como resultado de este proceso de la muerte. Angel is also saying that as what she can read from the room is that people have uh, stuff to say uh, there. So uh, yeah. she, she says also that it could be earlier, but that she cannot tell. Y bueno, Angel dice que ella ve de lo que siente en, la, en, el, en el lugar, que la gente ahí tiene mucho que decir y que tal vez eh, podríamos interactuar con Shanitia antes, pero que no lo puede confirmar. Ok, so then with this issue happening with the Inus in Quebec City right now, it seems more like we're going to just be giving a report on it 
later on. I don't know if that's going to be today. If it ain't today, it'll be in our upcoming Zooms and it will, we'll give an update on it in our next reconstitution also. Y si no se pudiese tener la interacción con Shanitia y con la gente ahí hoy, eh, lo vamos entonces al menos a tener gracias a Angel como reporte y vamos a poderlo hablar en nuestros próximos Zooms para que le demos eh, las noticias a todo el mundo. But this should be regardless. It should be everyone's agenda, wherever you are. Uh, if you are of the original bloodlines, you should be making the utmost efforts to be aware and share as much as possible to, to share with people from north to south. We should all be aware when something of uh, such magnitude is happening. It doesn't matter if it's just to one of us or to all of us. We need to know so that we can uh, assess the reality of the circumstances that we are all confronted with, again, of colonization. Y en realidad ese sería el objetivo de este proceso también, que en cuanto algo le esté ocurriendo a un pueblo originario en su territorio, todo mundo lo sepa para que todo mundo pueda comparar con lo que ocurre en sus territorios y que todo mundo pueda tener una forma de defensa uh, uh, conjunta en colectivo acerca de esto que es un mismo uh, for, proceso de opresión que ataca a todo el mundo, que creemos que es distinto en diferentes formas, pero es el mismo. Ok, so then, uh, any luck yet with them hooking up, hooking back up? I still see that they don't have audio. It's so bad. Ok, uh, maybe you could just let them know that uh, we value, we want this communication, but if uh, there's nothing that, if it can't be resolved on their end, then... The communication ain't gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's already kind of don't worry about it. Uh, entonces ya les dijimos que eh, pueden tratar de conectarse al audio y pues, esperamos eso. Okay, so then, well, we gotta keep this train rolling. Uh, uh, Angel says that there is a pause of 10 minutes right now. Okay, can this pause, Angel, can you go to Jean Piap and ask her if that within this break, if she could just join us to give us uh, a brief update? Let her know that no, we are. Yes, know. this is what I'm trying to do. Oh, okay. Oui, vous pourriez parler à la Maison Longue présentement. On est en Julia Ridicon. Bouge pas, Alex. Pourquoi il y a mes amis de la Maison Longue? Parce que je suis avec Alex. Il y a vécu quelque chose de terrible proche du feu sacré. Euh, je sais pas ce qui est-ce qu'il peut l'entendre. Oui, oui, il entend bien. Oui. Attends, attends, écoutez, écoutez Alex. Vas-y, Alex. Ah, la connexion, le coupé, un petit peu. She says that something happened. She's talking right now with somebody on the phone. C'est la connexion a coupé. Ah, oh, la connexion est coupée. And something bad really happened. So you that's what La connexion est coupée. On a perdu Alex, mais il a vécu quelque chose là-bas. Euh... Il y, a, il y a une voiture qui est rentrée dans le feu sacré. And uh, there's uh, the connection just caught, but he, he was just telling her, uh, Alex, that a car went right straight into the sacred fire. Translate into Spanish. Uh, y ocurre que también está hablando con una persona acá en el fuego sagrado y le está informando que en este momento un carro fue directamente hacia el fuego sagrado. Was this a private car? Was it a cop, a government car? Uh, elle lui demande dans le fond si c'était euh, un auto. It was a pickup. It was someone driving it. Uh, Est-ce est que c'est quelqu'un du gouvernement, la police? Que tu On ne sait pas. We don't know. We don't know if qui... it was police or whatever government, but it's it's si louche. No sabemos si fue un carro de la policía, un camión, qué fue. No sabemos. Jean Piaf, it's very good to see you. If uh, if you don't have the time right now, like to give us a brief update, can you find the time? Um, perhaps after this event, we'll still be here because we're connected right now with people from north to the south. Je vais demander si uh, uh, si tu as pas le temps de parler présentement, est-ce que tu peux te joindre plus tard pour parler, pour faire un rapport de la situation hey, aujourd'hui, parce qu'après ça, nous autres on s'en va souper, non tout le monde là, mais. Mais, uh, she says not today. Dis lui que nous, nous, nous allons lui envoyer la rediffusion de tout ça. Oui. She says that uh, they will send you the, the recording of it. And I will do a report, of course. Okay. Very good. Merci beaucoup, jean Piap. Very good to see you. You're looking beautiful. You're looking powerful. The spirit is strong with you today. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Je le dis tout, elle est très belle, puis que ça a l'air plus fin. Comme je comme ça. OK. Je vais vous dire merci tantôt quand on va commencer. She said I will I say thank you later when we start back after the break. Oui. Je vais vous nommer. Very good. All our best. <laughs> D'accord. Tu me tu m'aideras à dire ya dice que hoy no va a poder conectarse con nosotros porque como la ven está completamente acaparada por muchas circunstancias y después de este evento se van a ir a comer juntos pero que agradece que estemos ah, estamos ahí vía Angel que eh, agradece el apoyo y que les va a mencionar nos va a mencionar al inicio entonces que agradece y después este video que están haciendo va a ser redifusionado vamos a poder tener acceso a él y que Angel nos va a hacer también eh, parte del de reporte Okay, just for everybody's general information, Johnny Piap is an elder within the Inu Nation, but she is married to uh, one that, uh, uh, what, what the rest of the world knows as a Huron, but she is very active, she is a very powerful woman, and she has always been standing and pushing for and fighting for the, the Inu people, for all Native people. Y Shanipiap es una mujer Inu que está casada con un hombre de la nación uh, Wendat, entonces por ello vive en Wendake, y desde siempre ha sido una mujer artista, activista para defender la causa de su pueblo Inu. So this is the purpose of this kind of communication, so that we all become aware to the best that we can, you know, like to try to connect, try to hook up, and not that we can basically do anything, for anyone in the different territories except to share information. Y ese es el objetivo de nuevo, al menos ya le vieron su hermoso rostro, ya saben quién es Shanipia, lo que está ocurriendo con ella, entonces eso de eso se trata de que nos refamiliaricemos en este proceso. Okay, so uh any luck with him yet? It's still no audio. He's still there. He came back, he disconnected, he came back, but again. Okay, is there anybody else there? No. Okay, nobody else there to discuss this. Okay, so well, uh, well, let's just go on to other things then. Uh, Susan, we can uh, address the issue with the Bourdain family then. Did I did I say that right? Bourdain is it Bourdain family? I don't want to I don't want to offend anybody. Entonces podemos pasar otros asuntos como darle la palabra a Susan para que nos introduzca con la familia Bourdain y la pregunta es si ese no apellido está siendo pronunciado correctamente porque no lo quiere más atrás. I think uh, you pronounced it correctly. Y creo que lo mencionaste de forma correcta. Okay. Um, Ani, <clears throat> everybody, north and south, east and west. Uh, my name is Susan Reese Mashike. I am the daughter of Lillian, who carries the clan Mashike and the family name Mashike. I am the granddaughter of Helen Samuels and the great granddaughter of Mary Potosky. I will make my, um, <clears throat> my report very brief. I'm gonna let uh, Vandy and the family um, speak for themselves. I'm just gonna tell you what I've been doing the last few days. Uh, I've managed to uh, write hopefully a very effective uh, press release. Uh, it's, I spent five, five hours honing it down as to its its smallest uh, point and still uh, encapsulate uh, the more powerful parts of the story. I've already been uh, sending it out and I, my strategy is to first approach the international uh, wire services because sometime, one well, more than sometimes our stories don't get told in mainstream media or even uh, native media here. Uh, and a lot of times the story will take hold from the outside in. So that was my strategy and approach. Uh, it took me oh, around 12 hours. I've had a tremendous amount of problems getting um, the press release and the uh, attachments uh, to go with it which includes uh, a photograph of the chief of police who started all this, the, the, these, these events, and um, plus uh, a photograph of Vandy Crane's house that was burnt down to the ground last year. Um, <clears throat> and I will uh, let you know that 
so far, I've sent a, a press release to uh, United Press International, CNN, Reuters, Associated Press, and then some others. I won't even try to pronounce them. ANP out of the Netherlands at The Hague, BNO, also the Netherlands, uh, Al Jariza, and uh, Native, American, Native American Calling, which is an old, uh, now well-established Native news agency that I've known for quite some time out of the University of New Mexico. Uh, I, I've given them the Native scoop, as they say it in the business. Uh, I'm going to give them um, all access to our information. I've already spoken with the uh, executive producer of Native American Calling. He's very interested in doing the story. I'm going to be encouraging him to do a series on this story because there's so much, it's so deeply packed that I think uh, it deserves that kind of attention. So uh, that being said, I will hand this over to uh, Vandy and, okay. she, and the family. Just keep in mind, we got to translate into Spanish. So try to make everything short. Edith has to translate everything that uh, Susan just said right now also. Entonces, Susan se presenta como de costumbre, mencionando su clan de la tortuga, el nombre de su mami, de su abuelita, y hace un saludo al este, a oeste, a oeste, al norte y al sur. Y nos presenta aquí el comunicado de prensa que trabajó, le costó un poco de trabajo porque quería agregar la, la foto del policía que les está acosando, también una foto de la casa de Bandy que fue quemada el año pasado y eh, está uh, enviando este comunicado a muchísima gente de diversas medias y entró en contacto con alguien que está interesado en cubrir el asunto y entonces ella quiere motivarle a que sea una especie de series porque hay tanta cosa que está ligada a este caso que es muy importante conocer cada paso de cómo se llegó a la situación actual y de cómo ha sido este ataque. Okay, also something for us to think about, and I, I didn't think about this the last time, but here in so-called Canada, that there is a uh, uh, Aboriginal People's Television Network that's broadcast right across the country, that this is uh, also a place where we can lodge this story See if they do anything. They're pretty much a system network anyways, but it might might uh, get somewhere there. Y aquí en el así llamado Canadá hay también una red de televisoras para los pueblos originarios. Entonces tal vez sería alguien a quien acercarse eh, para hablar del asunto. Okay, now we'll go for being here again. I know I've heard a few things in the past week that uh, it's got to be uh, rough and tough. So... Nyawago, thank you very much for being with us. And anything you've got to share about your circumstances. What is that? Let me finally got the audio. Okay, well, now you're going to have to tell him to wait because now we're into this. Uh, okay. Eh, tata, tata, mam, ya vimos que finalmente tuvo su audio, entonces eh, nada más le voy a poner el mudo por un momentito y ahorita que terminemos con la interacción con estas hermosas abuelitas, le damos la palabra. Gracias. Muy bien, muy bien, abuela, muy bien, muy bien, lo estoy esperando por acá, pero antes que nada, un saludo para todos, ¿eh? Gracias. So thank you, he says. He's going to be waiting patiently and he wants to say a big hi to everybody as well. Skanagoa. Gran paz para usted, dice Stuart. Everybody right now is wrapped in that energy. We're all in that love together. Y ahorita todos estamos juntitos en esa energía de amor, uh, envolviéndonos mutuamente. Okay, so our sisters are here uh, to share again the information. So the platform is yours right now. Anything, everything that you want to share, there you go. Entonces a la mamá de Andy, a Bandy, algo que nos quieran compartir. Prawe, Chante Washte, Nachuzate, Chante Washte, Wushagiawi, Na Vandi Krin. I greet you all, relatives, with a good heart and warm handshake. My name is Good Strong Hearted Woman, or Vandi Krin. Um, we are here in Tewa territory. Um, I am the daughter of Susan Garnett, the granddaughter of. Uh, Eleanor Grace Crane, great granddaughter of 
Ruth Ann Betts and seventh generation descendant of Mahongo, Sacred Sun Woman. Uh, and I'm here with Verdell Bordon. Hi. Hi, everybody. Entonces, Valdi se presenta mencionando a su mami y a su abuelita también, diciendo que su nombre significa una mujer con un corazón muy fuerte y muy bueno y que es una descendiente de eh, su pueblo, de su territorio y que está aquí para ayudar a la familia Bordón. Y está la mamá de Andy ahí que nos saluda también. Mm. Um, so, oh, thank you. Thank you for inviting us and thank you for... Um giving the Bordons a platform um, to tell their story, to share what's happening here. Um, I know often um, I've heard Burdell say that they feel like they're all alone in this. And you know, I keep reminding them that, you know, we're all connected, even though it feels like we're alone. There are relatives that care. And even though the relatives that don't care, it still affects them. So we're, we're really not alone in this. Um, yeah. Les da la bienvenida y Valdi dice que agradece muchísimo el hecho de que eh, se le pueda dar esta plataforma a la familia Bordón porque hay gente de su familia inclusive a quienes no les importa lo que les está ocurriendo, pero ya sea que les importe o no, les afecta de igual manera. Entonces es muy importante que este tipo de, de acontecimientos sean conocidos por todos. Ok, Valdi, just keep in mind that right now, all the people who are going to see this is spread out through the south into... Uh, Peru, where where is uh Ayun again? Argentina, Argentina, Peru, uh, Dixville M again into Guatemala and New Mexico, and as you've seen, there's uh, uh, Inu that are French speaking. So just keep that in mind. There's a whole bunch of different people, so you might have a uh, uh, maybe like a different message, you know, uh, just so that you know that. Y bueno, nada más para tener en consideración que este proceso le llega a gente en el sur, hasta Argentina. Ahorita tenemos a un tata que está en el territorio de Tishbalam. Tenemos a gente que escucha en México, en muchos lugares. Acabamos de conocer a abuelita Shanitia, que es francófona. Entonces, para saber que todos los pueblos están eh, de todas diferentes lenguas colonizadas, están aquí para escuchar entonces que el mensaje les llegue a todos. Yeah, well, Lena, thank you. <clears throat> um, so we'll keep the update very brief um, <clears throat> to dovetail off uh, what Auntie Susan shared. Um, we're just waiting for a response from the press release uh, and the journalists that it's been sent to. We have a donation platform set up for the family. Any donations would be used to uh, the, their expenses on the road. Um, they are currently in an undisclosed location, staying safe. And the, the message that we were told to give to them is to just focus on being invisible. Y eh, ahorita está la familia a salvo. Están en diferentes locaciones que no se han dicho por su seguridad. También se puso una uh, campaña para recaudar fondos para ellos, para que puedan tener dinero para desplazarse, para sus gastos. Y también están esperando respuesta de parte del comunicado de prensa que se emitió. When speaking with them, uh, just before we got on to this call, I told them that while they focus on staying invisible, we'll focus on making them more visible to the world so everyone knows what's happening. Y mientras ellos se guardan lo más invisible posible, ellos van a encargarse de hacerlos lo más visible posible para que todo el mundo sepa lo que les está ocurriendo. We have had uh, legal counsel reach out, a uh, local um, legal representation reach out who is familiar with the case uh, due to his previous positions with the state. And he's expressed interest in being a part of the legal team or giving time to support the legal team as more resources emerge. Y hay gente también que ha sido, uh, que ha demostrado su interés por hacer parte tal vez de un uh, equipo legal de defensa. Entonces, entre más recursos haya para dicho equipo también, más este equipo va a crecer.
Am I forgetting anything? No, you could still give them a brief memory of what happened this past week. Mm. Uh, they're still experiencing being followed, surveillanced. Uh, another safe house was compromised. There was another fire. Mm. There was evidence that a propane tank was rigged uh, to be a makeshift bomb and an animal was found, um, a, a cat uh, was found that belonged to the property that was um, beaten to death and the animal was taken to, I believe the Humane Society to have the vet assess if it was um, like a intentional. Y le pregunta a la mamá de Andy si hay algo más que reportar. Le dice, pues, acerca de los eventos de esta semana. Y, pues, sí, esta semana la familia siguió siendo perseguida. Hay evidencias de cómo son eh, eh, monitoreados por sus teléfonos. En el lugar en el que se estaban quedando, tuvieron que salir porque hubo vandalismo en un tanque de propano que lo habían acomodado para que fuera una bomba de explosión. Uh, and, 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 let me cut in there as to what you just identified. Y, Vandy, si me permites decir algo. I know and I understand that this is tactics that they actually do upon our people. Entiendo que estas son tácticas que van a utilizar sobre nuestra gente. You, you might think, well, if they're genociding upon us, you know, they'll go after our children, shoot our children, shoot us, kill us. Porque saben que si van a ir a querer agarrar a nuestros niños, pues lo que van a hacer es primero dispararnos a nosotros. But we got to remember that they use psychology against us. Pero hay que recordar que lo que utilizan es la psicología contra and, nosotros. And this is where the white man has no problem hurting animals, killing animals uh, that we might be attached to. You know, just to break down our spirit, just one little increment. And they do that one increment at a time. It goes kind of unnoticed that like you can't really associate that to a genocide. Yes, I animales en donde no les importa el hombre blanco va a ser capaz de hacer todo ese tipo de atrocidades como atacar inclusive un animal. This is a, a terrible thing. This happened to us in 2015. We were called to a meeting in a, in a neighboring community, Akwazasne. It's about an hour, hour and a half away. And it was very contentious. And when we got back, our dog that was tied up was very ill. Something funny with him. Uh, a couple of days went by, like he was almost dying. We brought him to the vet. The vet took x-rays of him. And there was over 130 BB pellets within the dog's body, all over his face, all over his body. The, the vet took, uh, gave me the, uh, uh, the x-rays of it, you know, and what could you do of, uh, of something like that? Porque algo que olvidé mencionar es que atacaron a un gato, eh, lo, 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 lo atacaron. Entonces, Stuart está contando que en 2015 fueron a un encuentro a la comunidad de Manuela Cuesasne y pasó algo muy similar cuando regresaron estaba el, el perrito ata, a, amarrado acá y se veía como muy enfermo, muy decaído. Entonces, después de un par de días lo llevaron al veterinario y ahí se dieron cuenta que efectivamente estaba lleno de eh, mini, eh, como pistol, o sea, como balitas de, de platino que le habían inyectado 130, más de 130 balas. Entonces, Obviamente el animal falleció y es así como se ven este tipo de tácticas psicológicas. So I know that some people might say to you, you know, like when you're addressing something like that, they might say, oh, you're, you're just paranoid. I know for a fact that that is not paranoia. This is actual tactics of the white man. Y yo sé que hay gente que cuando uno cuenta eso van a decir, ay, no, estás paranoico. Pero ¿cuál paranoia? Estamos hablando de que esas son tácticas bien reales que utiliza el hombre blanco. Yeah. I have no doubt that you're absolutely correct. The woman who um, owned the property where those incidents took place wanted to collect evidence. Um, but I can also share the experience that when I came home from our other safe house to my home that was burnt down on April Fool's Day and we lost nine animals and I came back to our husky wolf dog chewing on the carcass of my daughter's favorite cat that had been burned up in the fire. And it was one of the most hellish scenes I'd ever seen in my life. And all I could do was sing a prayer song and put down tobacco. 
And I know that they try to break us. And I have no doubt in my mind that that cat was just part of the collateral damage in their genocidal systemic erasure of our people. Bani cuenta exactamente una situación similar que le pasó a ella cuando quemaron su casa el año pasado, que eh, de repente regresó y vio a su perro, que es un husky, comiendo sobre la, el, el, el como, eh, esqueleto de, de su gato, que era el gato favorito de su hija. Entonces, es algo que es la imagen más terrible que se re, que recuerda haber visto. Y ese tipo de cosas son justamente para romperles, para hacerles guerra psicológica, para desmotivarles, para aterrorizarles, para pararles. Hmm. So right now, uh, okay, I'm not going to ask this because I know what you said. They're trying to, uh, they've got to be invisible. So I'll just say this. Uh, the white man won't understand this anyways. In that line, that thought of invisibility, they have to tap into the deer, the deer spirit. Mm -hmm. Y eh, no voy a entrar en detalles, pero diría para que se logren hacer invisibles, tiene que hacerle llamado al espíritu del venado. And I think that we're coming up to, or we're close to, or somewhere around the time of where the peoples of the South are carrying out the blue deer ceremony. Y nos estamos acercando al tiempo en que gente en el sur va a llevar a cabo su ceremonia del venado azul. So it's possible that we can contact them uh we we're actually going to be having a meeting with them in march uh in a couple of weeks from now we could ask them to have you in their in their ceremony and at the same time we do the same thing to have you in our ceremony specifically focusing on that deer for that purpose in the intent expressed Entonces, algo que podríamos hacer es coordinar que hagamos un encuentro con ustedes y con ellos allá en el territorio para que esté justamente el llamado conjunto de el venado. And of course, when we do this, you're of course you're going to be fully informed so that you know when it's happening, and that way the three of us in these three points will be able to align. Y así lo hacemos de forma conjunta para que en estos tres distintos puntos en los que nos encontramos lo podamos alinear. Uh, I had a question about the this guy who said that he uh, you said a local lawyer or something like that that wants expressed that he wants to be involved in the legal team. When when this happens, if it's possible, if we can engage, hook up again, like in a online, so that the uh, the the discussion could be shared. Of course, that's to you and that person's the legal team's discretion as to what they want shared, but. It's always easy to push a button, you know, and put a, a temporary uh, audio break on it. Entonces, eh, lo que uh, escuché es que también había un abogado local que manifestó interés por el caso. Y si fuera posible que en la próxima ocasión que ustedes se encuentren con él, puedan enlazarse con nosotros para que compartamos y conversamos acerca del de asunto. He actually had called while we were introducing ourselves, um, but I wanted to give the family a chance to speak with him before, um, you know, before moving forward with any anything public, etc. So you guys will be talking with Dave Devotma. Yeah. And um, we would be... Oh. Me estaba presentando y eh, eh, nada más que quería darle tiempo a la familia que primero hablen con él y no acelerar las cosas, no moverme muy deprisa. And we would be grateful and honored to uh, be held in those ceremonies. Um, we both come from Deer Clan, respectively, from our own peoples. And yeah. it's my mother's clan of Santa Clara Pueblo. We're from the Deer Clan of Santa Clara Pueblo, so. It fits right in. And Ferdell's family were you you guys were the family to bring uh the peyote, peyote medicine back home to Denehotso for the first time. In um, fifty years. It was fifty years that they had the fresh medicine back there at home. So we went down there, my daughters my daughter went down there with my cousin and we were brought it back to the people and they were so happy when they we, the fresh fresh medicine was brought back to the communities. That was a long time. 
la gran coincidencia es que ella también, las dos son de El Plan del Venado, entonces está recordando con muchísimo amor cómo hace 50 años fueron de hecho a recolectar el peyote fresco, la medicina que fue llevada de vuelta a las diferentes comunidades y entonces todavía tienen este recuerdo de cuando probaron esta medicina fresca, toda la hermosura que ocurrió, entonces es bello. This just reveals that we are more connected than what we think. This internet connection, of course, it's technology. It's 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 bullshit compared to the <laughs> science of the spirituality of the people. And it just so happens that yesterday we had three little deer clans here. So it's a beautiful connection. <laughs> como eh, las conexiones se confirman cada vez más, a veces pensamos que estamos aislados, pero no, y uh, justamente ayer tuvimos a tres pequeñitos del clan del venado también, entonces, eh, bueno, esta espiritualidad que nos facilita el internet, porque es maravilloso. Wow. That's, it's, 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 that's what you, uh, it's too far-fetched that, uh, uh, I also come from Spider Nation, and, and the internet has become a big part of my medicine uh, that I've learned to reach people in the right time, even across the world, um, to help intervene and help someone. So it's it's become a beautiful gift. Y ella viniendo de la Nación Araña también se da cuenta que el Internet ha sido de gran ayuda porque es como si esa red le ayuda a saber cuándo contactar con quién para poder ayudar a esa persona. Entonces es maravilloso también. Well, I got to expand on that too. You know, it's like almost everything that you say, it's like you're, like you're a neuron firing across the brain and there's a receptor there. And we think that because we haven't had communication in so long, like as if we're... Like as if we don't even have the same language anymore, but there's so many things we can relate to in what you're saying about the spider nation. This is very uh, important part of our nation here, identified as Dagwayasu. Y eh, tengo que decir algo más acerca de eso también, de lo que identificas acerca de eh, el internet. En nuestra nación también hay una palabra para identificar ese espíritu que mencionas, que es Dagwayasu. 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 No. Okay, so what are the what are the spirits? Are their spirits okay? Are they up or are they are they down? Are they what are the spirits like? ¿Y cómo están los ánimos? La gente se siente baja o está como tranquila? Uh, ¿Cómo están? What do you say, mom? How are their spirits? Well, they're just kind of chill and terrified over what happened with the last event when they were at the safe safe house. Um, they don't, I mean, they were going to, somebody was trying to blow them up in the, inside the house and we saved that um, by starting the propane tank and propane I was all, uh, there was half a tank out of, of a bottle. I don't know exactly what size of the bottle was, but um, half of it was released out in the dirt and I don't know if it wasn't for the rain if it came down and soaked everything down, who would have known? I, I don't want to go in, like, think those thoughts, but just, that it was just basically panicked right there when the propane tank they found the tissue and burn burn tissue inside the holes like who does this um we don't right now he doesn't want to talk too much on the phone because he said he's hearing beeps on the phones so maybe the phones are being tapped again so we're trying to like keep them the phone down minimal when for being for he's safe right now and um we're going to take his one at day at a time and he just got to get his tank full of gas to keep on going we have to continue to go again so we're basically going like i said we're going doing the circles now we're back to doing circles now so i don't really know if there's actually really a safe place to be i mean it's not it's not fair that they're making him put other people's life in danger just it's just everything's just all wrong about everything that's happened here um but it is scary we're still scared he's still scared um he calls me as much as he can um try to comfort him I try to tell him that we're doing all that we can but sometimes that's not enough you know we're, when it comes down to our intuitions or our body or our thoughts our mind that's a different story there You know, um, I'm trying to be a mother to him and comfort him, but I can't even 
be there with him and the officers or who's ever behind all this is making it hard for us. And we're basically just, I don't know, we're just trying to keep our spirits high and one day it's going to be over. It has to be over. They can't continue to do this too much, much longer, but no telling what's going to happen after this is all over too. Like how much danger is he going to be in for retaliation? What's going to happen after the fact that this is all over? I mean, is somebody still going to go after him because of what happened? And like, these are people that are high, high places. I mean, they're military trained. I mean, basically down here, we don't have the training. They know what to do. Like you said, the tactics, the, the, the way that they're doing everything with the mind games. So um, I mean, that hits, that hits home. It really does. But right now for today, they're okay for this hour. They're okay. Mm -hmm. Try to keep encouraging to eat and drink something every day. Make sure we tell each other we have to eat, we have to drink, make sure you breathe. Um, it's hard to sleep sometimes and just keep your eye open all the time. And this is a no way to live. Who does this? It's hard. White man does that. Hey, la respuesta de abuelita, que es la mamá de Andy, que es eh, quien está oyendo con su, con su esposa, eh, es que, bueno, obviamente esta semana cuando vieron la evidencia del gas de propano que estaba tapado, que era para hacer una bomba, es como, ¿quién hace eso? Y también lo que le hicieron al gatito, ¿quién hace eso? Es como lo que dices tú, Arzón, gente que está entrenada con grado militar, que tienen todo el conocimiento de esta guerra psicológica, de las tácticas, entonces es como... En algún momento esto tiene que parar y ahorita han vuelto a hacer como círculos, es decir, saben que no hay un solo lugar seguro, entonces tienen que seguir moviéndose con la misma gente en círculos, pero eso tiene que acabar un día y después de que acabe es como van a estar seguros, es decir, ¿cómo puede ser posible que esto exista, que esto ocurra? Okay, I know that Susan already related this to you, but just to have it related again, that uh, if needed if they so if they if they're so inclined uh we would be willing to receive them here on the longhouse grounds the only thing was is like we related to susan is the weather wise right now uh here the weather will be good enough you know like uh because we don't have a place inside they would have to camp out it would be good enough in uh the end of march april uh really uh, if they can hold out a few weeks if there's no other alternative for them, for them, then they are more than welcome here. Y yo sé que Susan ya se los contó y que les ofrecimos que viniesen aquí a la Casa Larga. El único problema inmediato es que no hay ningún edificio con el frío, es imposible, pero en cuanto empiece a ser un mejor clima, que sería por ahí del fin de marzo, inicio de abril, si no tienen ninguna otra alternativa, son más que bienvenidos aquí. And then also, if that's the case, then they could, they'll also be here for us in this grand aligning ceremony on uh, April 8th, 8th, 8th or 9th, yeah. the, uh, you, you know, the total solar eclipse. It's passing right through our territory at that time and it's maximum uh, power level or power area is going to be right through Gonna walk you right through where we are. Porque pasa directamente encima de nuestro territorio. Su poder pasa encima de Canaguay. Yeah, so that's uh, uh, that's really uh, the most that we can offer, except outside of this. Uh, like we explained to you before, we're poorer than poor. We can't even afford to pick our own noses here. So you know, it's uh, <laughs> easy. Y eso es lo que podemos ofrecer, como ya también hemos dicho, estamos re quebrados, re rotos, es decir, no podemos ni siquiera pagar por picarnos las narices. Entonces, eh, bueno, pero con mucho gusto ofrecemos eso. Other than that, the circumstances, is it okay? Are they eating well? Are they warm enough? Do they have enough clothes? Things of this nature? Y otras circunstancias, no. comida, ropa, están uh, a salvo en ese sentido? So basically right now, this all they've been doing is they, they have, they've been sleeping in their car all this whole time, um, piled up with blankets. Um, once in a while, before they get to go, they might get electricity with the heater once in a while when they get to go and they stay long enough. Um, other than that, um, 
they're getting by um, day by day. Um, just, I don't know what to make of it. I, just, I don't know what to tell them either. I'm like, I'm worried about them all the time and I try not to put that worry in his mind and his heart, you know, when they talk to him, um, it's hard. But they're basically just living out of the car right now and they're living out of the grocery store what little bit they can get by with the food stamps. And I gave them their food stamps card. So at least they have that to go buy on the money stair the money is on the card every month. But other than that, um can't stay very long because of all the places that they've been through so far, they've got chased off by the police officers by these fake 911 calls. So apparently they're making it hard for them to even go into the city because that leaves a residual of the police officers that had gone to them before over these fake calls to be on the lookout for them. So they're aware of, you know, things that are going to come back to them and somebody's going to, I, you know, oh, I saw you before, I know about you, you know, that kind of talk that what are you doing here? So yeah, they've been chased out of cities, they've been chased out of towns, I mean, but um, I like this is a very scary, scary situation here. I, I'm just, I don't know what to say anymore. Like, this is sad. I, I don't know why this is happening to him, I, why he was chosen, but basically it's because of we're Native American. It's a retaliation for what's going on here in the, the communities. They're chasing Native American people all the time, out of town. And we were told by the city manager that they had chased three other Indian men out of this town of Espanola the same day way that they did to him but I think they took this to a higher level though y bueno realmente pues no sabe mucho pero sabe que han estado durmiendo en el carro que han estado alimentándose gracias a cupones de eh, comida en los bancos alimentarios es decir tienen un poquito de dinero que se les deposita cada mes y con eso lo tienen que estirar para sobrevivir todo el tiempo entonces obviamente no son las situaciones ideales para nada y sabe que eh, asociando el caso a otros casos, ha habido otros tres hombres en Española, porque es este lugar en el que se encuentran, que es en el territorio de Nuevo México, que también han sido perseguidos por la policía, sí, hasta un grado en que eh, son, o sea, salen de su territorio, porque el acoso es tal que no pueden sostenerlo. Uh, just to put this into perspective, for anyone that may be hearing this, just place yourself back about 150 years ago, Uh, whatever, how long ago, and place yourself in that trail of tears. The only difference now is that we have white man's communication that it's like uh, people who are still home-based or whatever can communicate with those people who are on the trail of tears. This is basically the exact same circumstance. Y bueno, para poner las cosas en perspectiva, hay que ir en el tiempo hace 150 años y colocarse en lo que se conoce como el sendero de las lágrimas en ese lugar, en ese territorio. Es decir, hoy como que eh, porque tenemos toda esa tecnología y el hombre blanco ha transformado tanto nuestra forma de pensar, pero si realmente nos podemos poner en la situación de aquel entonces de los pueblos. And what it actually is, it's a reflection showing us a reality here that right now we are seeing the negative, but the reality of the strength is shining through. Nos indica que ahora uh, vemos un montón de obstáculos y de resistencia, pero al mismo tiempo es la fuerza y la belleza de la fuerza de poder sostener eso lo que está brillando. Imagine in that trail of tears, the strength of the people. Imagínense en ese sendero de lágrimas la fuerza de la gente. Regardless of how many died, what was left was strong, was hardened, was brought up to the reality of the circumstances of the day that we are in. And we are not in a day of uh, whatever the date is, you know, like the rest of the world is uh, uh, stuck in. No, we are in the day of getting close to the renewal of the spirit of the original peoples. And they are scrambling right now to try to do everything in their power to prevent this from happening. Y eh, realmente lo que es, es eh, tanto duelo, tanta, tanto dolor, eh, todo lo que la gente perdió, cuánta gente perdieron. Pero a pesar de todo eso, la resiliencia de salir adelante, de levantarse con toda la fuerza para decir, aún seguimos aquí. Eso es lo que está pasando ahorita con los pueblos originarios que 
está a punto de levantarse ese brillo de, de la forma colectiva y es por eso que están completamente nerviosos y están asustados y no saben qué hacer y están utilizando todas sus peores tácticas para tratar de impedirlo. I'll say to you that regardless of whatever any of us are seeing, that the reality, what's laying underneath the surface in our people, what's bubbling and oozing in everybody's body, in everybody's spirit, is that this time of renewal is going to bring back the, 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 the spiritual strength. And I can see, I don't even have to ask this. I'll bet you, I'll, I'll bet you, I'll bet anybody that the people of the, that particular nations are going to be carrying out ghost dance very soon. Y yo digo, puedo casi asegurar que las naciones de aquel mm -hmm. territorio particularmente van a estar haciendo esa danza que terrificó a tanta gente del otro lado hace años, que es la danza de fantasma. We might all find ourselves in a different reality coming in what we identify as Gayerdi Yagunsa Yerdi. Ah, uh, Gayerdi Yorakose on the fourth new moon. Y puede que nos encontremos en una realidad completamente distinta cuando lleguemos a esta cuarta luna nueva. So the the for them, regardless of how bad it is. I would say, at the very least, you know, it's it's good for us to have uh, um, uh, targets, you know, like, uh, I'll survive this long. And then once I get there, I won't care. I'll only think about it once I get there. You know, if to, to survive until April 8th. Entonces, si hablamos de tácticas de sobrevivencia en las que hay que establecer una fecha en la que íbamos a lograrlo, bueno, por ahorita hay que lograr llegar al 8 de abril. Yeah. Uh, okay, anything else that you have to share on this or actually anything else that might be happening in your territory, what you might be experiencing, anything. The floor is yours, and then we're going we're gonna to have to move on. Y hay algo más que gustaran compartir, no solamente del caso, sino algo de sus territorios, algo que esté en sus corazones. Just wanted to reaffirm um, your statement about how this um, makes us strong and how it really showcases our strength. Uh, right after our home and um, grassroots organization headquarters were burnt down. I took my 15-year-old who had run into the burning building to save their 15-month-old up to their homelands to have an honoring ceremony where the white buffalo calf woman bundle is kept. Y nada más quiero reafirmar lo que mencionaste acerca de cómo nuestra fuerza aflora y eso me hace pensar cuando mi casa, que era la base de, de, de organización, fue quemada. Mi hija de 15 años corrió del equipo al fuego para salvar a su bebé de 15 años del fuego y después de esto llegaron hacia uh, la, lo alto de la colina para hacer una ofrenda para uh, donde se encuentra el paquetito de la mujer búfalo que se encuentra resguardado ahí. My daughter's name is Tatonka Scalway Swiftbird. She's from Pine Ridge and she was named for Chief White Bull. Y el nombre de su hija incluye el nombre de Tatanka. Eh, uh, I couldn't repeat exact the whole name, Abandi, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know if you can repeat it. Um, Tatonka Skawi Swiftbird. Okay. Que es el nombre que le fue dado a su hija por un jefe de su nación también. And just thinking of ways that <clears throat> maybe we could collaborate with what little we have uh, to raise people's spirits and to raise funds for the family. Um, my daughter and I were featured with seven other Lakota women in a award-winning documentary that came out in the last few years called Women of the White Buffalo. Y estoy pensando nada más cómo podemos ayudarnos mutuamente para levantarle el espíritu a la gente, para hacer más conciencia del caso. Y también quiero decir que mi hija y yo participamos en un documental con a, otras siete mujeres que el documental es llamado Las Mujeres del Búfalo Blanco. And perhaps we can coordinate on doing an international watch party or something like that. We've done fundraisers that have been successful uh, in raising some funds for our little grassroots mission, Rise and Love Foundation. 
y tal vez podríamos organizar una, un visionamiento de este, este documental a nivel internacional para que podamos recaudar juntos fondos para la familia y, y generar conciencia del asunto al mismo tiempo. And with that, do you have anything else you want to add? I'm, I'm just kind of like saddened because of the way that they're treating at my son Andy and his um, girlfriend right now. Um, he was able to do ceremonies with the Navajo tribe um, he, with the cedar, cedar man and he did uh, the fire. He had a several fire readers telling him what was going on also. But now he's getting chased. He got chased off of the Navajo tribe to the police officers, harassment and calling the families and threatening them and threatening to hurt the little kids um, this last call. So that was kind of like they're keeping him away from his spiritual side also. So that's been kind of another issue too. That he can't connect to the spiritual side that he needs to help right now. Because that's what's keeping them alive is the, um, the readings of the cedar, the cedar, the cedar fire. Um, it's just, I just, I just don't know what to think of all this. This is too much. Y obviamente, pues, la mamá de Andy está profundamente entristecida. Es decir, como madre no sabe qué hacer. Eh, ella sabe que su hijo necesita la fuerza espiritual para mantenerse eh, de pie, pero, por ejemplo, también tiene otros hijos a los cuales no ha podido ver por toda esta situación. Es como si todo hace que eh, sea más difícil que se pueda mantener de pie. Entonces, sabe que esas son las tácticas, pero al mismo tiempo ella lo siente mucho. Es como si no sabe de qué mejor forma poderle ayudar. Ok, it sounds like, uh, well, we know, we all see the same thing in different shapes and forms in our different territories. So, we know to some extent what you are going through. Y bueno, esto lo vemos de diferentes formas en nuestros distintos territorios, entonces podemos sentir lo que se le está pasando. So right now, the best that we can identify to you is that in our ceremonies that you are there, you are in our hearts and minds. Y ahorita también tenemos que decirle entonces que cuando hacemos ceremonia, ustedes están ahí, están en nuestros corazones, en nuestros pensamientos, en nuestras palabras con tabaco. We just had our opening of the bush ceremony yesterday, which is when the maple trees start running. Acabamos de tener la ceremonia de apertura del bosque, que es cuando los árboles de maple comienzan a escurrir su agüita dulce. And you are there with us yesterday in our ceremony. Y ustedes estaban ahí ayer con nosotros en nuestra ceremonia. And as you know, last night with the full moon that we gathered, just like everybody does, and we gathered in our full moon ceremony, and you are there with us. Y como saben, también ayer fue la luna llena, nos reunimos para hacer nuestra ceremonia de luna llena y también estaban ahí con nosotros. The thing for everyone to remember is that the power of the moon is uh, 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 the, the strongest power affecting all of us. Y hay que recordar, bueno, nadie puede olvidar que el poder de la luna es el poder más fuerte que nos afecta a todos. As it pulls the oceans, creating the tides. It pulls the water within our eyeballs, within our brains, within our bodies. Así como jala las aguas, los océanos, para crear las mareas, también jala las aguas en nuestro cuerpo, en nuestras emociones, en nuestra sangre. And so the reality is, is that the true people move with her, move with grandma. Y la verdad es que la verdadera gente se mueve con ella, con abuelita Luna. And grandma identifies to us that there are three days of power in the new moon and the full moon. Y abuelita Luna nos identifica que hay tres días de poder, tanto en la luna nueva como en la llena. And so we have still, we're still within that power of Degeni Yorakwase today. Yogose Yeri, sorry. Degeni Yogose Yeri. Y estamos entonces en la fuerza total de la segunda luna llena todavía. The second full moon. Degeni Yogose Yeri. And so tonight, everybody still can gather in their ceremony or by yourself, wherever, all of us, together tonight mm -hmm. in our ceremony, align our thoughts in all of this that is discussed today, everything that is addressed here, because what we are addressing, what is coming up is everything that is confronting us that we are, uh, that is going to evolve us. 
Entonces, hoy todavía podemos reunirnos para celebrar a Abuelita Luna en la luna llena y que cuando estemos haciéndolo, ya sea solos en nuestros pensamientos o reunidos con nuestra gente, que nos unamos en pensamiento con todo esto que estamos conversando el día de hoy. And so all of us, no matter what role that we play, no matter what's happening to us, the ones who are getting beaten down, the ones who are in jail, like Leonard Pelche forever, the ones that are being exploited, no matter what, stand proud. Stand tall because we are the ones in the current time that are feeling that brunt of the colonization, and we are the ones that are maintaining our identity. Proud, yeah, yeah, yeah. strength, unity in our people. Y inclusive aquellos que han sido los más golpeados por el sistema, pensamos por ejemplo en Leonard Pelletier que está encarcelado desde cuánto tiempo y en todas nuestras uh, aliadas, aliados que están sufriendo el mismo destino, estamos con ellos, estamos pensando en ellos y estamos utilizando la fuerza que les quisieron quitar para poder mantenernos eh, de pie haciendo eh, todo lo que se debe por el buen camino. So we'll align in ceremony tonight. It's still that, that's that third night of the full moon. Entonces nos vamos a alinear en ceremonia hoy. Uh, es la tercera noche de fuerza de la luna llena. And as the days go by, at any time, if there is something new, something that you feel you got to share, I know that the Zooms that we do, they're not day after day, but it's Saturday, Wednesday, and today, every second Sunday. So uh, regardless of if when it happens, it's, going to be pretty close to any of the Zooms where you can bring that information and share it. Or if it's necessary, immediate, just communicate with Susan and she'll communicate with us. And at the very least, we can post whatever is the issue or else we can call for a special, uh, a special Zoom gathering. Y eh, cada vez que gusten venir a compartir información, lo pueden hacer en cualquiera de los Zooms. Puede ser en los miércoles o en los sábados o los domingos más cercanos a la nueva y llena. Y si hay alguna um, actualización que tengamos que conocer inmediatamente, se la pueden transmitir a Susan y Susan nos la va a enviar eh, desde pronto. Ok, I gotta say, use our beautiful life givers. Y tengo que decir que son unas dadoras de vida hermosas. Use convey strength. Porque transmiten un montón de fuerza. Strong spirit. Un gran espíritu. It's beautiful. Y es hermoso verlo. This is what our mothers are to show our people all the time. Y eso es lo que nuestras madres tienen que mostrar a la gente en todo el tiempo. Even when our mothers are sad, they still show to us the love, the everything that the babies, that the children need. Incluso cuando nuestras madres están tristes, nos siguen mostrando todo aquello que los niños, los bebés necesitan. So I say, now we'll go with to use. We thank you so much for coming and to sharing, but we thank you even more for just being, just being you. Entonces les agradecemos muchísimo por haber venido a conversar con nosotros y sobre todo les agradecemos por simplemente ser ustedes. Okay, we're going to have to move on, but I don't know if you can stay or not. If you can, just to let you know now that at the end of this Zoom, we're going to uh, we're going to end off with a song for you anyways. If whether you're here or not, we're going to end off with a song for you tonight. Uh, today, I mean. Okay, so now we're going to have to move on. And uh, yeah, just keep on being with who you are. Y vamos a tener que continuar, pero nada más que sepan que al, si pueden quedarse con nosotros todavía a conversar, al final vamos a cantar una canción que va a ser para ustedes. Entonces, gracias por seguir siendo quienes son. Ok, so as we see so far in the communications today, we start off identifying about the uh, uh, Gayeri, uh, 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 of the fourth new moon and we shared with uh the first female life giver inu astrophysicist the first native life giver astrophysicist lori russo nipton who is uh uh from within the uh inu nation this is uh to the northeast of us eh, maybe by as the crow flies maybe uh i think it's while driving if the crow drives <laughs> it's about uh uh, 10 or 12 hours, huh? 
Y eh, bueno, nada más para hacer la pequeña recapitulación antes de continuar con Tata Mam, que eh, hoy tuvimos a la primera astrofísica INU, de la nación INU, que si hablamos de cuánta distancia hay de aquí a su nación, son digamos unas 12 horas de manejo. So we're talking today, which means our minds are working in this area, about larger galactic movements of sky women which is affecting us directly here, which actually uh, uh, triggers us, uh, the original peoples, to do what we do. Y hablamos... <laughs> 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 hablamos de movimientos tan amplios que uh, hace la mujer cielo que nos afectan directamente. And I'm going to get my dog in here to howl too. Y justo cuando dijo eso Stuart, llamó al gallo, entonces dice, a ver, déjeme, le traigo a mi perro para que aúlle también de regreso. And also, as you see, the, the second person we're talking to was another Inu woman who was relating to us, <laughs> relating to us about the, the, the same kind of stuff, basically, the colonization happening to them there. Y como vimos, la segunda persona a la que platicamos era otra abuelita de la nación Inú que nos platica de los efectos de la colonización en su territorio. This is the way of our people. Y esa es la forma de nuestra gente. That we don't have specialists for this or that. Our people specialize in everything. Que no tenemos un especialista para esto y otro para aquello, sino que la gente se especializa en todo. And when the circumstances demand... We will rise to address, no matter what it is. Y cuando las circunstancias lo piden, pues vamos a levantarnos a hablar de lo que sea que tenga que ser dicho. Okay, so now we have other stuff to discuss. Y ahora tenemos otras cosas que conversar. So we walk, it's, Mi Mi is it Miguel? No, uh -huh. it, I guess that's somebody else's phone. Uh, his name is Tata Kalib, Kalib Kab. <laughs> Camila Kab. <laughs> okay. Camila Kab. We welcome you. Uh, I don't know how long you were here. I don't know all the stuff that you heard, but uh, the, the the majority of what we wanted to discuss today, it doesn't mean we're limited to that, but uh, mm -hmm. to it of the movement of mm -hmm. Grandma Moon in the fourth moon as she's going to be moving through your territory and all of our territories right up into my territory. Entonces, pues le damos la bienvenida, qué bueno que se pudo conectar y bueno, eh, queríamos escuchar qué es lo que ustedes están allá hablando acerca de este movimiento del sol que va a ser el eclipse eh, total solar el 8 de abril. Eso no significa que sea el único tema del que tengamos que hablar. Entonces, bueno, el, la palabra es de usted. So welcome. Anything within that spectrum of discussion do you want to address? The floor is yours. Y entonces, bienvenido. Y lo que usted nos quiera decir, eh, de nuevo, la palabra es de usted. Pues es un gusto poder eh, saludar en primer lugar a todos ustedes. Y esperando que todos los que han comunicado o que han participado eh, eh, en esta reunión, pues que tengan ahora sí que una luz, una estrella por delante para poder seguir los pasos en donde andaron nuestros abuelos antes. Mi nombre, con el permiso, con el permiso de mi abuela Nampish, que también le decimos una, la abuela Luna, quiero compartirles a ustedes que hoy estamos ya en luna llena aquí en estas tierras del Pig Palam. ¿Sí? Entonces, para ustedes, eh, mi nombre es Camila Cap Sok. Eh, entonces, eh, abuelito nos dice que está muy contento de haber escuchado a la gente que... Oh, my goodness, I have to go in Spanish, uh, in English, I mean. Uh, so, uh, grandfather tells us that he's super happy for having been able to hear the people that were uh, participating and talking today and that he wishes to each one of them that they have this light before them that will be able to guide them and to open their path that is our collective ancestors. So he's uh, wishing that upon each one of the uh, people that participated. And he also says that he acknowledges what Stuart was saying about that today is the day of Nanpi Ich, 
that is uh, known as uh, Grandmother Moon as well in his territory with his nation. So he acknowledges that as well. And uh, with all of that being said, uh, his name is Camila. Uh, hoy es un día muy especial cuando se está llevando a cabo por parte de la Casa Larga reunión, porque este es un nuevo amanecer para la Oh, no. Tata, no sé si nos escucha, se cortó, le voy a traducir en el momento por lo pronto. So he's saying, he was saying that uh, this was a very, this is a very important day in which the Longhouse is holding this gathering because today we could be talking about a, a new uh, sunrise for the whole humanity. Sí, se cortó un poquito, Tata, no sé si... Sí se oye lo que estoy comunicándoles a ustedes. Eso, se cortó un poquito la comunicación ahorita. Eh, se perdió, nada más alcancé a escuchar que era un día importante porque es un nuevo amanecer. y Después de ahí ya no escuché nada. Ah, ya, lo que les estaba comentando es que el día de hoy, dentro del calendario, eh, del calendario Maya Mam, es un nuevo día, un nuevo amanecer, un nuevo camino. Y por eso es que yo creo que este día en que se está llevando a cabo esa, este, esa transmisión es un inicio de, una, de un nuevo amanecer para todos los pueblos nativos de estas tierras. So what I was trying to share is that today in the Man Mayan calendar is the day of the new uh, sunrise, the new path. So that's why I, I see that the fact that this meeting is being held today, it's confirming that yes, indeed, we are in this sunrise or the new path for the whole humanity. Hoy es un, es un día muy especial para mí. ¿Por qué? Porque han habido cosas, uh, ahora sí que un poco inexplicables. Pero mi abuela espiritual y física, Nampish, siempre está a mi lado para poder seguir adelante. Y yo también quiero pedir a ella para que realmente todos los pueblos nativos de esas tierras, pues que encuentren, encuentren con la ayuda de los, de los grandes, sobre, entre los grandes, ¿sí?, pueden salir adelante todos los pueblos nativos de estas tierras. Debemos de, de tener muy en cuenta eh, que nosotros tenemos una capacidad, pero alguien nos puede apoyar más si, si nos abocamos a los grandes líderes, grandes científicos de nuestros abuelos, como el gran, como el gran Quetzalcóatl, como el gran Ocolcán, como como el gran, ahora sí que el gran colibrí, un gran rey que estuvo aquí en, en estas tierras del Tierra Palam, para poder, para que nosotros pues eh, despejemos nuestra mente, para poder despejar nuestro camino y podamos encontrar una solución para nuestros problemas. So uh, he uh, is uh, acknowledging the fact that everything in the original peoples is uh, kind of changing or shifting into the remembering or coming back to the path of our ancestors. And we have to constantly, uh, for example, for him, his spiritual guide, his spiritual leader is Nan Pi Ich, which again is a grandmother moon. So he wants to acknowledge her at this time and to give thanks to her and to be able to be uh, uh, in complete gratitude of her. Uh, she, he knows that we have to be able to move forward with all of these knowledges following her. And we all have this capacity of doing so. So uh, in order to exponentialize this capacity, we also have to remember our leaders. And what are we, are we saying when we say our leaders is Quetzalcoatl or Kukultan, meaning the feather serpent. It's uh, uh, the hummingbird, uh, you know, that in the Nahua they call it Wichilopochtli. All of the leaders that were from our territory, that they 
knew who they were, that they were guiding the people. So we have to call upon them. We have to talk to them so that our spirits can be cleared out from all of the other things that don't need to be there anymore so that we can come about to this new uh, sunrise. So how, how does he say, if he can repeat Grandma Moon, we're going to write that down, how he identifies. Nan P each. Nan P each. Oh, you wrote it down? Uh, well, is is nang pish nang pish es la abuela es la abuela espiritual y la abuela física ella eh, en algún momento dado adquiere eh, adquiere su forma física y también adquiere su forma espiritual entonces ella prácticamente ella es la abuela luna así le de, como segundo nombre le decimos kiashau eh, kiashau así le denominamos con un adjetivo mucho más respetuoso todavía pero ella ella es la que dio la semilla del maíz para la subsistencia del pueblo mam sí ella dio la semilla ella también es la comadrona que ayuda a las, a las mujeres ya para dar a luz a un ser vivo. Ella es la comadrona y ella tiene muchas, muchas, eh, ahora sí que historias, tiene historias, pero que esas historias no están escritas. Porque mis abuelos antes decían, no hay, no hay que dar el pastel a los chuchos. ¿Saben qué son chuchos? Son perros. Sí. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> um, he says, Nan Pich, uh, I don't know if I'm translating it correctly, I can be pronouncing it correctly, but literally is the spiritual and the physical grandmother that is constantly guiding us. So she's got a spiritual manifestation that then will translate into the physical manifestation. There's also another name that has been given to her to still honor her and acknowledge her with more respect. That is Piash Ao. And uh, she is the one that has given the corn to the mom to uh, be able to live, to be able to thrive. She's also the midwife that is going to help uh, the women to give birth to their children. And there's many, many unwritten stories about uh, her. Uh, but it was the ancestors, the grandparents, that made sure that we wouldn't write them down because there's a saying that says, you are not going to be giving the cake to the dogs. You get what I mean. <laughs> uh, este, la abuela, mi abuela Nampish, también le denominamos Nanya. Solo Nanya, nada más a lo que es la abuela Luna, solo Nanya nada más, no con otro nombre. Entonces, en este caso, por ejemplo, eh, por ejemplo, yendo con, las, con, con los agricultores de esas tierras, hoy es el momento, hoy es el momento de hacer sembrar la milpa, sembrar el frijol, sembrar todo tipo de hortalizas, porque no crecen demasiado, pero que dan bastante fruta. Entonces la luna tiene que estar en luna llena, eh, casi en luna menguante, para que todas las siembras que, que, que se van a, todas las semillas que se van a poner en tierra, no van muy lejos, sino que van, crecen normalmente, pero con bastante fruta. Esa es lo, eh, una de las enseñanzas de la abuela luna, una de las enseñanzas de los grandes abuelos, ¿eh? que nos han dicho, por ejemplo, también aquí en estas tierras del Tijpalam, eh, muchas personas tienen que cortar árboles para construcción de sus casas. Y en ese entonces, entonces eh, las personas tienen que ver la luna llena, luna llena para poder, para poder cortar un árbol. Y este árbol, si se corta en luna llena, Tarda entre 35, 40 y 50 años esa madera o ese, ese palo para, para que la casa se, puede, se vuelva a, a, a construir nuevamente. Pero tarda 50 años ¿eh? esos palos. So another name that is given to her is Nanya. And that is literally Nanya. 
it literally to say just grandmother and that's the name that we give just to her to grandmother moon so uh it is her that is going to be letting us know that this is the time right now to go and seed the garden so everybody is preparing right now their corn their beans the squash everything that they are going to plant and this is the time from the full moon to the second half of what people call the third quarter or waxing, I think. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh, that is from the from there here to there. That is the best time to plant in order for the plants to not grow too much, but to have a lot of uh, vegetables or fruits in abundance. So that is the time that uh, Grandmother Moon teaches us as to when to plant in order to have uh, like uh, control, or not control, but like a uh, specific measure of the plants so that the fruits are the ones that can prosper and reproduce more. Some of the other things that uh, our grandmother Moon teaches us as well is like if people need to build a house and they are going to have to cut a tree so that they can build their houses, the time to cut a tree is exactly at the full moon. If it is done during the full moon, the house will be uh, with strong wood and it will last uh, from 35 years to 50 years, maybe even so, uh, but it has to be at that specific time. Ah. Estas, tierras, estas tierras del Tij Palam no son muy fértiles. Eh, ya están muy desgastadas las tierras. Pero mi abuela Nampish, mi abuela Nampish, cuando ella dio la semilla a todo el pueblo mam, ¿sí? estaba masticando trementina de copal. Estaba masticando trementina de copal cuando recogió eh, tama de maíz. No sé si ustedes saben que es tama de maíz y unos granitos dentro del tama de maíz. Y ella con, con el, masticando la trementina de copal dijo, dijo aquel entonces, Ah, yo creo que con ese mismo con con esa misma trementina de copal van a poder vivir mis hijos, decía la abuela. Entonces, el pueblo mam ahorita que de vez en cuando unos se acuerdan de hacer una ceremonia maya para poder pedir alimento a la abuela, ¿sí? Entonces, ella nos dio la semilla de maíz para que nosotros pudiéramos alimentarnos. Pero los que piden, sí se les da porque, porque están preguntando. Y también ya va a llegar el tiempo de petición de lluvia también de parte de, de, las, de los habitantes del pueblo Mam. Ya está, ya va llegando el tiempo para pedir la lluvia para poder sembrar la milpa o la semilla de milpa para que el año entrante puedan tener suficiente cosecha para poder seguir viviendo. Mm. Y a, antes de traducirle, Tata, ¿qué es eso de Tama? Porque si no sé qué es Tama, no sabría cómo... Uh, ah, sí, mire, cuando se aporrea el maíz o las mazorcas, sale un polvito del maíz, sale un polvito, y a ese polvito es una... Ay, no sé cómo explicarle, pero es algo que está pegado contra la mazorca. Y al desgranarlo, cae ese polvito, y a ese polvito le llamamos nosotros Tama. Y ese es lo que estaba eh, ahí en, en el lugar que le, de, le denominamos Pashil. Sí, ahí estaba ese polvo de maíz y con unos granos nada más. Y, y también mi abuela Nampish venía masticando trementina de copal. Y ese trementina de copal nos indica que nosotros también debemos de hacer ceremonia maya con trementina de copal, con cáscara de copal, con incienso, con mirra y todo eso para que puede haber bastante cosecha para, para, la, para poder vivir el año entrante. Lástima, yo, yo sí quisiera decirles muchas cosas sobre mi abuela, pero el tiempo nos apremia. Pero así están las cosas, Edith. Gracias, Tata. Okay, so uh, just first, I had to ask him a verification from a term that I couldn't translate. So now that he gave me all of that, I can go ahead with the whole thing. So first of Tish Balam, uh, he says it is not as fertile as it used to be. Now it is uh, not like a, a very fertile land. But we know from Anantish that uh, she was chewing 
um, what's this term? Uh, turpentine of of copal. She was chewing that, and when she was doing it, she went to pick up a uh, tama. That's the term that I asked her, asked him what it was. Uh, corn tama, meaning the tama is the dust that will come off from the cup of corn, cup of corn that yeah, when we are at. Uh, on graining, degraining the corn, you know, there's going to be little dust that is going to be uh, coming out of that corn. So it is the accumulation of that uh, corn that would, uh, the dust that would be used to feed the children. So as long as she would be chewing the uh, copal turpentine, uh, the children would be able to be fed with the corn uh, dust. Uh, so Nowadays, something that our peoples are kind of like forgetting a little bit and that uh, some of them still remember is that we can ask for food to grandma. So, uh, for example, if we do that ceremony uh, with the copal uh, turpentine and uh, with the uh, dust from the corn, we'll be able to talk to her, to ask her for uh, the, the, the grounds to be fertile so that the children can be fed. There's also going to be coming the uh, petition of the rain soon. So those are ceremonies that our peoples uh, in the month in nation, we are going to be doing it pretty soon. And those are things that are necessary for the perpetuation of the food and for our identity uh, to continue. Can, can uh, edit, edit. Um, no voy a ir tan lejos. Quiero mostrarles a ustedes un arbolito de copal donde nosotros extraemos la cáscara de este arbolito para ofrecer a los grandes abuelos, a nuestras deidades que nos dan alimento y todo esto. Y ese arbolito aquí está, les voy a mostrar ahorita, ahorita mismo, aquí está el arbolito, a ver si, a ver si se puede ver o no se puede ver. Okay, so Tatama wants to not go too far and show us literally the copal tree that uh, he wants to show us the um, uh, bark from the tree that will be used to chew and also to give the offering to uh, our ancestors in the ceremony. So he's literally showing it right there. <laughs> That's just a baby, like yeah. a sapling, right? Dice, ese es como un bebecito, ¿eh? como un arbustito de copal. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Está pequeñito todavía. Está yeah. pequeñito todavía. Entonces, esa es el, el, la cáscara del copal que cortamos, eh, le cortamos la cáscara para poder ofrecer a nuestros grandes abuelos, a nuestras deidades, a los, que, a los cuatro elementos que nos dan alimento durante toda la vida y que nos hacen crecer. Ese es ya, ahí está un arbolito, pero me gustó bastante enseñarles ese arbolito. Y todavía está pequeñito, todavía eso, eh, como dijera yo, uh, hecha, no, o cómo se dice, ahí le cae una trementina cuando se, cuando se corta una ramita, entonces cae una trementina y este es el que se hace incienso puro para dar a nuestros abuelos, a los grandes eh, científicos de, eh, que estuvieron antes que nos dieron vida a nosotros. So, yeah, that's a baby tree, as you can tell, but I'm so happy to be able to show you that baby tree. And so what we are going to do is we're going to take the bark from there, and that's what we are going to offer to our ancestors. And when we are taking the bark, that's where the turpentine is going to come out, and that's what we are going to be using for our ceremonies. And that's like the, the, the circle of like uh, giving thanks and acknowledging what they give us, so that we give back. It's... That the copal? Yeah, yeah. It's that that comes out of the tree. Stuart está enseñándole un pedazo de copal que nos habían regalado. Entonces dice, ¿es esto lo que sale del árbol? Ah, sí, sí, sí. Este es el. Este es. Ahora, este, esa es la trementina. That's the turtle. Esta es la trementina que, es, que echa el copal, eh, que el árbol de copal, sí. Y esta es la esencia pura que se dan a los abuelos a nuestros creadores, a nuestros formadores, a los que nos dan vida, a los que nos dan existencia. Esta es el, 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 la ofrenda puro que se da a nuestros abuelos. Yeah, that's the turpentine from the tree that comes from the tree that the tree gives us so we can offer back to our ancestors. That's it. I got a, I got a question. Can, can you expand on the 
the hummingbird. You said something about the hummingbird. Y dice, tiene una pregunta, porque hace rato cuando usted estaba diciendo que tenemos que seguir a nuestros líderes como Cuculcán o el colibrí, usted habló del colibrí, entonces, ¿podría contarnos más del colibrí? Antes que nada, les voy a contar una anécdota. Está el año pasado, estaba, fui a hacer una ceremonia allá donde el Cerro del Colibrí. Pero yo tenía que llegar a donde tenía que llegar por lo menos a las 7 de la noche. Pero cuando venía en el camino, se me puso un colibrí enfrente del carro. Un colibrí y iba caminando y el colibrí también iba, iba volando enfrente de mí. ¿Y cuál fue mi sorpresa? Que en vez de llegar a las, a las 7 de la noche... Yo llegué a las cinco y media de la tarde. ¿Qué fue lo que pasó? No sé. Pero total, el Cerro del Colibrí me hizo un gran favor de no caminar en la noche, sino que tenía que llegar con la luz del día. Es una anécdota. Vivido realmente fue el año pasado. ¿sí? Entonces, lo, el, el, el Cerro del Colibrí, ahí es en donde está enterrado un gran líder, un gran jefe, un gran ajpo, un gran así, un gran chman, no, no sé cómo decir qué más palabras, pero son, eh, son líderes de, nuestro, de nuestros abuelos que estuvieron antes, pero que tienen mucho conocimiento y que cuidan mucho a su pueblo. ¿sí? Ese es el gran colibrí, es un, no se puede decir rey, porque rey no existe aquí en el pueblo del Tijpalam. Solo existen los, eh, eh, los grandes de conocimiento, los grandes de, de palabra, ¿sí? los que conocían bastante el, la tierra, el cielo, la naturaleza, el sol, la luna y todo esto, los que sabían. Entonces, ellos son los que nos están ayudando ahorita, pero desgraciadamente, perdone la palabra, perdone la palabra, pero desgraciadamente eh, el cristianismo se ha introducido demasiado aquí en el pueblo Mam, ¿sí? que ya, ya las ceremonias mayas como que se están dejando por un lado. ¿sí? Pero, pero eso no quiere decir que ya murió, sino que las personas que van a la iglesia católica todavía hacen sus ceremonias mayas. Ahora a eso la mezcla del catolicismo y la ceremonia maya le decimos nosotros sincretismo. ¿Sí? Okay, so before uh, relating more about the hummingbird, I would like to tell a little anecdote first. The other day I was supposed to be going to uh, make an offering to the hummingbird mountain and I was supposed to be there at seven. So I was going walking and all of a the sudden there's this little hummingbird that st stand like just in front of me. Like he was just lying there like in front of me. Um, for a reason, don't ask me how that happened, but I ended up arriving at the top of the mountain at 5.30 p.m. And how that happened, don't ask me again, but what I gather from that event is that the hummingbird uh, was telling me that I should be there at the, during the light of the sun so that I wouldn't have to walk at night to do that. So when I went there is because there's a, an offering to, uh, in that uh, hummingbird mountain, there is a leader uh, that was buried there. And that's why we go and do these offerings. He is like a great, uh, uh, who is like, I mean, there's like uh, uh, many terms that I could be using to designate somebody that had a lot of knowledge, somebody that knew how the moon, the sun and the stars would move, how they would influence us. Uh, all of the intrinsicacies of that knowledge applied into the land. So he was somebody like that. And that's how everybody still goes and does their ceremony over there. Something that I have to say though, is that Christianity has had a lot of influence in our people. So today there's many people that have been forgetting about their ancestral true ceremonies or something that is gonna happen is that there is going to be, let's say, people that is going to be going to the Catholic Church, and at the same time, they are still going to be performing the ceremony. So that's how there's some kind of mix that happens, that they mix the uh, ancestral ceremonies with the Christianity. And that is something very common in these territories, and they name it uh, by the name of syncretism. 
that's something that is very prevalent all over the place. But in spite of that, there's people that still keep their ceremonies and that uh, perform them as, as we used to. Mm. Eh, ayer, ayer precisamente, con, con cua, eh, estuvimos siete personas ayer, ahora sí que líderes de, de los pueblos del Tijbalam, del, del pueblo Bam, ¿sí? Y fuimos a hacer una ceremonia ayer con, invocando, invocando al gran Pacal, al gran Pacal o Pacal, como le llaman, no es Pacal, sino es Pacal. También invocamos al señor Quetzalcoatl, invocamos al señor Ulcán, invocamos a los grandes de, del pueblo maya, ¿sí? Para que, ahora sí que que nos enseñan a nosotros cuál es el camino que se llevaron los grandes abuelos antes. Por supuesto, sin dejar por un lado a la abuela Nampish, porque ella es la primera que se nombre en las ceremonias. Entonces invocamos esto, sí, invocamos. ¿Y sabe cuál fueron las la sorpresas de nosotros ayer? Sí. La sorpresa de nosotros fue que apareció en, la, en el firmamento unos especies de águilas, aves desconocidas. Aves desconocidas. Pero al invocar a los abuelos, nosotros, el, el, fuego, el fuego dio un giro de, de, de derecha a izquierda. De derecha a izquierda. ¿Eso qué significa? Significa que que el espíritu de los grandes estuvieron con nosotros ayer eh, ofreciéndoles copal, ofreciéndoles incienso, ofreciéndoles todo lo, todo lo, 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 lo oloroso. Entonces, ayer precisamente fue un día muy especial ante cuatro y cuatro y a ver, es que, bueno, diciendo desgraciadamente en español, vamos a decirle que Ayer fue eh, dentro del calendario maya el cuatro aire, cuatro viento. Pero ahora, es, ahora ¿por qué se hizo esa ceremonia ante, ante cuatro vientos? Porque invocamos al gran Pacal, invocamos al gran Quetzalcoatl, al gran Nezahualcóyotl, al gran, eh, eh, bueno, los grandes que estuvieron. ¿Por qué? porque es necesario que nosotros eh, nos conectemos con ellos, nos conectemos con ellos, pero ellos en este momento, muchos ya se han olvidado de ellos y ya no los mencionan, ya no les dan esa ofrenda del humo, humo del copal, ya no, todo se nos ha olvidado. Entonces, el día de ayer los invocamos porque ellos en espíritu vienen desde las estrellas, eh, por ejemplo, el gran Pacal vive en las Pleiades, ¿sí? Él vive en las Pleiades y, y el gran Quetzalcóatl, él vive allá en, 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 ¿cómo le llaman eso en castellano? Pero nosotros decimos, así le decimos, en donde vive el señor Quetzalcóatl. Y el Palam Chitse, que nos dieron la vida y existencia en las tierras del Tij Palam, también los mencionamos ayer y, y ellos sí estuvieron con nosotros ayer. ¿Sí? Ok. So, uh, he also wants to relate to us that yesterday there was a meeting in which seven leaders from his nation gathered to go and do ceremony. And uh, it's like on behalf or on, in the name of Tij Palam. Uh, in this ceremony, they mentioned the names of everybody that was being called upon. So they started calling the great Pakal. It's like it's something that people will say Pakal, but it's not Pakal, it's Pakal. So uh, there was also a calling upon Quetzalcoatl, Kukulcan, Nezahualcoyotl, and of course, not to forget Nampish, because she is always the first one to be named, because we know that everything else transpires from her. She is the first one. So, for example, 
they know that all of them are directly connected uh, to the stars. They all come to, uh, from the stars, from um, the the Pleiades, the the seven, you know, the the, the seven dancers. So, uh, what was the surprise that appeared in the ceremony yesterday? is that there were birds that were unknown that looked like eagles that appeared at the moment that they were doing the offering. And uh, to take into account also that when they are doing the offering, that uh, that's, uh, as he was saying, they offer the copal. So it's the, the, the smoke that raises, that is calling upon all of these uh, uh, leaders uh, from the past that people have the tendency to forget, that people don't call upon anymore. So they need to hear their names being called. And that's why we do these ceremonies. And the confirmation of this was that at the central fire, there was a turn from the, like through, with the wind, from the right to the left. So that was the confirmation that yes, all of those that were called upon were there. This was done in the day uh, in the Mayan calendar of four uh, each. Ich, uh, for lack of better translation, uh, it's for wind. It's the day of, of the of the air, of the wind. So it is in that uh, specific date chosen because of its meaning that that uh, ceremony was performed. Uh, muchas cosas se pueden decir. No se pueden decir en un momento. Pero por la, la comunicación de Casa Larga, del, 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 del águila y del cóndor uh, hay una parte todavía que todavía no se ha conectado, creo yo o tal vez ya está conectado no sé yo, pero es la parte central de estas, de estas nuevas tierras del Tijpalam porque ahí es en donde reina eh, los conocimientos del señor Colibrí y es necesario compartir con el norte y con el sur los conocimientos también del, del pueblo uh, maya, del Tijpalam, ¿sí? Y yo creo que ya llegó la hora para mí de que haya esa conexión entre el águila, el cóndor, y aquí está el colibrí esperando a que se tome en cuenta en estas reuniones. Es un decir, Edith, es un decir pero yo, yo pienso que es necesario, yo creo que ya llegó la hora, porque eh, estamos eh, eh, hablando sobre, sobre el, el 13 Bactún. Usted ya sabía del 13 Bactún, Edith, y entonces este, estas palabras del 13 Bactún, hay que hablarles ahorita de oriente a poniente, de norte a sur, a todos los pueblos nativos de estas tierras, para que pongamos un poco eh, nuestra atención eh, sobre lo que puede pasar sobre la madre tierra que tanto nos, nos cobija. ¿sí? Es necesario tomarla en cuenta y es necesario hacer esta divulgación entre los pueblos nativos de estas tierras, del, eh, de las tierras del águila y las tierras del cóndor, y aquí en las tierras del colibrí, para que nosotros, para que haya pues ahora sí que armonía entre los pueblos. Así es que ahora sí que yo me siento muy alegre, muy contento de poder conversar con Casa Larga, con usted Edith y no sé, el gran chief por allá, ya, no, 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 no se me viene el nombre de él, pero, pero quisiera yo que, que se haga ese enlace para que nosotros podamos, ahora sí que norte, sur y centro, podamos tener ese, esa fuerza para poder salir adelante. Ok, so uh, basically he's saying that there will be so many things that we could be talking about, but for now he would just like to leave it himself saying that uh, he feels a great honor and joy to be able to interact with the longhouse and that what he feels that happens in this process is that if we are talking about the reconstitution of the condor and the eagle, what is missing is what is in the center. So it is in the center that the hummingbird is. So uh, for this uh, process to be complete, there will be a need to uh, have more the voice of the hummingbird. And uh, for example, he knows that there is uh, many stuff about the Baktun, if you know what the 13 Baktun is, 
is asking if there are no open question and that those words will have to be spoken more at this time so that all of the peoples from north to south would know about it will be aware of it so that we could completely connect to the knowledge that we have been uh, uh bringing back so uh with all of that being said see, being said it's really uh, great to be able to talk to you and to uh, the chief, I don't remember exactly what's his name. Sorry, I don't recall, but it's a great honor and privilege to be interacting uh, uh, with you. I'm not a chief. <laughs> y dice, antes que nada, no crea que soy un jefe, por favor. <laughs> I don't hold any title. I am functioning under emergency powers. Porque no tengo ningún título que me haya sido otorgado por las mujeres. Ahorita nada más estoy llenando el papel porque hay como una especie de situación de emergencia, de urgencia. It's a provision under the great law of peace when the uh, chieftainship titles or the, the five nations are in disarray. Y es una provisión dentro de la gran ley de la paz que puede levantarse cuando las naciones se encuentran en una gran desesperanza, digamos así. My mother held the title within the Ganyangahaga nation of honor at Goa. Y mi madre tenía el título dentro de la nación Ganyangahaga, que se conoce como Mohawk, de el título de honor at Goa. This is the tree with the farthest reaching branches que es el árbol que tiene las raíces que se extienden hasta más lejos. I am born of nine mothers. Y por lo tanto yo nací de nueve madres. And they have named me Gazi Danzarillo. Y me nombraron Gazi Danzarillo. This means pretty bird, pretty little bird, beautiful little bird. Y significa pequeño pájaro bonito. This is the name that my mother has given me. Ese es el nombre que mi mami me dio. And so, this is the mm -hmm. image of Honor at Goa. It is the furthest reaching branches. I have nine mothers, but I am on the end of the branch. Y entonces, esta sería la representación del árbol de Honor at Goa que tiene las ramas que alcanzan hasta lo más lejos. Y tengo nueve madres y yo estoy hasta la punta de dicha rama. I do not carry any kind of power or authority. Yo no tengo ningún tipo de poder ni de autoridad. I am born of nine mothers and I am my mother's son. Sino que nací de nueve madres y soy el hijo de mi madre. We are the foundation of the Five Nations Longhouse Confederacy. We are on the left. Y la Nación Gañangajaga somos la fundación de la Confederación de las Cinco Naciones y estamos hacia la izquierda de nuestro símbolo. Nuestro símbolo. This is where my mother has placed me. Es ahí en donde mi mamá me puso. And she has put me within an intimate relationship with Yetisota Asatanka Garakwa, our grandmother moon. Y ella me puso en una interacción directa con a uh, Yonkisota a Santa Nueca Garacua, que es Abuelita Luna. I follow the light of the moon out of the darkness. Sigo la luz de la luna para salir de la oscuridad. This is who I am. Y ese es quien soy. This is who my nation is. We are the Ganyangahaga people, the people of the flint, which means we are the people who spark the fire of the great peace. Y esa es mi nación, la nación Ganyangahaga significa la gente de la chispa, que también se conoce como la gente del sílex, porque era con la piedra del sílex con la que se hacía la primera chispa para alumbrar el fuego. The emergency title that I hold is under the title of Honor at Goa, and these are the antlers of the chieftainship title of Honor at Goa. Y el título que sostengo es el título de Onaregoa y este es el símbolo de jefatura que es colocado sobre la cabeza del hombre representante. Como ve, aquí están los cuernos de venado que son las que indican que él sería el jefe hombre. It holds the three feathers of peace, 
power and righteousness. Y también tiene las tres plumas que son características de la nación Ganyangahaga, que significa la paz, el poder de nuestros ancestros y la rectitud en el camino. It carries within it and it holds the three clans of turtle, wolf, and bear. Y porta los tres clanes que son de la tortuga, el lobo y el oso. And our symbol of authority is the sacred deer antlers. Y nuestro símbolo de autoridad es justamente las uh, antenas o los cuernos de venado. The sacred three of turtle, wolf, and bear is what the rest of the world knows as protons, neutrons, and electrons. Y el tres sagrado, que es la tortuga, el lobo y el oso, es lo que el mundo hoy conoce como los neutrones, los protones y los electrones. My mother brought me into this world to do her work, to continue her work. Y mi mami me trajo el mundo para hacer su trabajo, para continuar su trabajo. To complete the weaving of our Mother Earth's DNA that has been broken. Para completar el tejido del ADN ahí donde fue roto. And this is what has prompted us here within our territory to reach back to the south. Y eso es justamente lo que nos propició aquí desde el norte a hacer un llamado a conectar con el sur. To, to regain the vision that the white man has broken. Para volver a constituir esa visión conjunta que teníamos que el hombre blanco vino a separar. So that we can realign the eye of the south with the eye of the north and that our center eye, our mind's eye, can then align these two and invert it for complete comprehension for all people on earth. Para que el ojo de el sur y el ojo del norte, así como nuestra cara, el ojo izquierdo y el ojo derecho que están eh, unidos por el tercer ojo, que sea este ojo del centro en donde están ustedes, quienes son ustedes, que pueda venir a realinear estos dos ojos y a interpretar para que el izquierdo entienda lo derecho y viceversa. And so I follow my mother, all nine of them. Entonces yo sigo a mi mami, a mis nueve mamis. And so I am not a person unto my own. Y entonces yo no soy una personita, yo sola que yo me dirijo y yo me mando. And to align with what you said yesterday. Y para alinearme con lo que dijo usted ayer. That I see exactly what you said, because yesterday we were engaged in a meeting here in our in our broken community that hasn't had a meeting of all these different people in since 1999 y eh, estaba es como si las palabras que ustedes estaban mencionando estaban resonando acá porque acá ayer tuvimos en la comunidad una junta con diferentes partes que han sido divididas, separadas y que no se habían reunido desde 1990. We were broken 50 years ago. Se nos rompió hace 50 años. And we have met only once in that time, in a 25-year interval, and then yesterday, in the second 25 year interval. Y desde que nos rompieron, nos reunimos solamente una vez a la mitad, es decir, 25 años más tarde, y después de eso, justamente ayer, de nuevo. And we align within the 52-year uh, uh, cycle that is the derivative of the 52,000-year cycle. Y nos alineamos con el ciclo de 52 años, que es un derivado justamente de la comprensión de ustedes. It was passed to me that all of our confederacies from the north and south have met every 52 years in Dix Belém. Porque a mí se me pasó de todos estos jefes de diferentes naciones que venían a visitar a mi madre jefe y yo de mí escuchaba todo eso. Se nos contaba que de sur a norte todas las confederaciones viajarían para encontrarse cada 52 años en el territorio de Tishbalam. So I would have met you when we were kids, when we were children, and we would have met again when we are at the ages that we are at now. Entonces yo eh, lo habría conocido a usted cuando éramos ambos niños y después nos habríamos reencontrado de nuevo a la edad que tenemos ahorita. And our visions would be complete. Y nuestras visiones estarían completas. Our assemblage is also the great white pine tree. 
Y nuestro simbolismo también es el gran pino blanco. And we get our medicine from that pine tree also. It's basically the same thing as your kapal. Y también tenemos esta medicina que sale de la ceba del árbol como el copal de ustedes. We pattern our lives after that pine tree. Y moldeamos nuestra vida con ese árbol. It is at the center of our Five Nations Longhouse Confederacy. Se encuentra en el centro de nuestra confederación de cinco naciones. And that tree takes 25 years to mature before it can reproduce. Y este año le toma 25, perdón, este árbol le toma 25 años para poder llegar a reproducirse. And when it does reproduce, it only reproduces every five years. Y cuando se reproduce, solo se reproduce cada cinco años. And this is how we align ourselves that every five years, the people of the five nations must realign our knowledge with the recital of the great law of peace. Y es así como alineamos nuestro conocimiento con el del pino blanco, quien nos dice que cada cinco años tenemos que tener un recital de la gran paz. And this is coming up in 2027, right? Y 2027. Esto va a ocurrir en 2027 de nuevo. But in our journey, as we have been broken, or as they tried to break us, pero en este eh, camino en el que trataron de rompernos y separarnos, we have aligned ourselves through treaty of the Degene de Ojade. Nos hemos alineado mediante el tratado del Degene de, de Ojade, que es el One Punto de Dos Vías. And this is our treaty of alliance of communication with the non-native people que es nuestro tratado de alianza y de comunicación con los no nativos. And in it, we have established the true voice within the non-native people. It is not men, it is not democracy, it is not any system of governance or whatever that the non-native has currently. Y en este sistema no se trata de cualquier tipo de gobierno inventado o cualquier cosa que tenga hoy el mundo no nativo como para decir que representa a su gente. And so, we have created the true voice in which to communicate with on the non-native side. Entonces, creamos la verdadera voz con la cual comunicarse con el lado no nativo. It was born in... 2019. Que nació en 2019. And it is referred to as the woman's nation. A la nación de Dadoras. And since they were formed in 2019, then we must give law recital for them also every five years. Y como se constituyeron en 2019, se le tiene que dar también a ellas un recital de la ley cada cinco años que da este año. And this is happening a moon and a half from now on the fourth new moon, the total solar eclipse that passes right through our house. Y que va a empezar el 8 de abril cuando este eclipse total de sol va a pasar encima de nuestra casa. It is the rebirth time. Es el tiempo de renacimiento. It is the equivalent of when our mother and father get love and the is fertilized. Como cuando nuestra mamá y nuestra pa nuestro papá se juntan en amor y el huevo es fertilizado. And we know that soon the new life will be here in this world. Y sabemos que pronto la nueva vida va a venir al mundo. This is who and what we are, what we are, uh, like our cosmovision. Este es quienes somos, eh, nuestra cosmovision. And we prepare, we prepare ourselves for the fourth new moon this year. Y ahorita nos estamos preparando para la cuarta luna nueva de este año. For the great renewal. Para en la gran renovación. And you are a part of this because the knowledge that you have shared with us, the knowledge that others have shared with us, is the knowledge that we have sought out to make ourselves complete once again. Y usted es parte de esta información porque este conocimiento que usted acaba de compartir es justamente esta pieza de rompecabezas que falta para que estemos completos, para que podamos realmente volver a ser esos pueblos que ya tuvimos. 
communication that we are doing is the equivalent as to what happens inside the womb of a mother. Y esta comunicación que estamos haciendo es el equivalente de lo que ocurre en el vientre de una mami. While the baby is being formed. Mientras el bebecito está siendo formado. We are the elements of the mind, of the spirit. Somos nosotros los elementos de la mente, del espíritu. We have built the skeleton. Ya hemos construido el esqueleto. We have put the tendons and muscles. Y le hemos puesto los tendones, los músculos. We have put all the internal organs. Y todos los órganos internos. And now we wait for Gayeri Yagunsayeri. Uh, Gayeri Yorakwase, the fourth new moon to put the spirit into the body. Y ahora esperamos a la cuarta luna para ponerle el espíritu al cuerpo. This is where we are. Y es ahí en donde estamos. Together. All of us are in this vein. Todos estamos en esta vein. We give thanks for you. Entonces le agradecemos muchísimo a usted. Your bloodline that held on to such knowledge. Por su línea de sangre que se agarró a esta este conocimiento con todo. And we look into your face and we can see those that came before who stood and who were murdered, who were killed. Y vemos su bello rostro y vemos a todos aquellos que tuvieron que levantarse y que también fueron asesinados, pero que todavía lograron pasar ese conocimiento. And we can see their spirit. Y vemos su espíritu a través de usted. Not just there, but rising. Y no nada más ahí, sino que se está levantando. And this is our great ceremony together. Y esta es nuestra gran ceremonia. We will be completing the ceremony of just this phase. On April 8th, the total solar eclipse. Y vamos a completar esta ceremonia, bueno, esta fase en el eclipse el 8 de abril. This eclipse will activate all of us throughout the path. Y este eclipse va a activarnos a todas y todos en su camino, en su parte. And so we're going to, I'd like to share with you a little, just a little bit of what is happening in that. Y me gustaría compartirle un poquito de lo que va a ocurrir con eso. Just to show you the pathway again uh, of the uh, solar eclipse, we're going to share the image here. Nada más para volverle a compartir el camino del eclipse que va a estar ahí. Wrong image, sorry. <laughs> Denos un segundito nada más. Wrong image again, sorry. It's not being shared. You can close uh, oh, you're wrong. Uh, okay. ellos. Sí. So, where are you in relation to that pathway? You don't see it there. Huh? You don't see it there. No. Me dices tú, que usted dónde está, pero digo que ahí usted ni siquiera está su territorio. Where, where is he? In this Guatemala. Okay. <laughs> okay, so as this passes through us, it's not the line of totality that is the line of power. Porque bueno, en este eclipse no es tanto lo que está al centro, lo que va a tener el mayor poder. It's off to the sides, where, like us, our peripheral, our peripheral vision is. Sino hacia los lados, como la visión periférica. Because, again, just the example of, like, if uh, you have a shower head, you know, like, where all the water comes out, it's around, but in the center, there's no water that comes out of there. Digamos, como una regadera, ¿no? Que eh, no le sale agua al centro, sino nomás por los lados. So the path of totality is like being in the middle of that shower head. You won't get wet by the water. Entonces, el centro es como estar con la regadera eh, de en medio, que no le va a caer agua. And off to the side is where that water is. And when the moon is directly in between us and our eldest brother, the sun, the mighty warrior. Pero es hacia los lados que esa agua va a salir. Y cuando Abuelita Luna se encuentra exactamente entre nosotros y Hermano Mayor el Sol. Who we identify as Tarunyuago, the mighty warrior. A quien le llamamos Tarunyuago, el gran guerrero. That the sun's power will amplify through the water being released on our grandmother moon. And on that, just to the side of the... Uh, path of totality. That's where the water will amplify the power of our eldest brother, the sun, 
and activate all that what is within just the exterior of the path of totality. Y va a ser justamente la parte externa en donde le va a dar el agua como en la regadera que va a ser activada. Uh, so, in the past, uh, this year, as to what has happened with all the crazy weather. Y digamos, en los últimos años, con toda la locura a nivel del clima que ha estado ocurriendo. It has killed a lot of trees here. Aquí ha matado a muchos árboles. When we look into the forest, almost, you could say, almost every second tree is broken. Y cuando vemos a los árboles, casi cada uh, árbol está roto. And this happened over the winter time when all the trees were frozen. Y esto pasó en el invierno cuando los árboles están congelados. So, on April 8th, what is going to happen? Y entonces lo que va a ocurrir el 8 de abril is that not just the regular water that's on our Mother Earth is going to be exposed to that power. Es que no solamente el agua que va a estar en nuestra Madre Tierra va a exponerse a, esa, a ese poder. But a different water of an amniotic fluid power. Sino que va a ser un agua distinta de un fluido amniótico. Because on April 8, by that time, all these broken trees that are broken, like basically if I'm a tree, most of our trees are broken off about uh, uh, chest, chest length from the top, from the chest up, they're broken off. Porque digamos, eh, si yo soy un árbol, es como si las ramas están rotas a partir de mi pecho. And so, when this is thawing out, and the water is going up the tree, but the top of the tree is broken. Entonces, en esta época en que estamos transicionando de invierno a primavera, si el árbol está uh, dejando de estar congelado y como abuela luna hace el jale de agua, esta agua va a ser llevada hacia arriba del tronco, pero que el árbol está roto. Then all of that water will be released from every second tree. Every tree that's broken, it will be released. That is a different water. It's amniotic water, and that will be activated. It's the trees that are bringing back the life. The power is coming back out of the trees. Toda esa agua va a ser liberada por esas uh, roturas, digamos, de los árboles. Entonces, esa agua que normalmente se, se queda solamente en el árbol con nuestra madre tierra va a ser liberada. Entonces, este es el equivalente de agua de fluido amniótico que va a ser liberada, esparcida y que va a estar uh, activándose. When this confederacy, the five nations was formed, the Mohawks, the Ganyangahaga, on the left, were established as the foundation, those who sparked the great law of peace. Y cuando la confederación se fundó, los Ganyangahaga a la izquierda, los Mohawk, los que empezaron el fuego con el Silex, eh, están hacia la izquierda. And when that mighty warrior came to form the five nations, y cuando el gran guerrero vino a formar las cinco naciones, when he was done, he returned to the trees. Cuando terminó, volvió a los árboles. And he covered himself in the bark. Y se cubrió bajo la corteza. And he told the people, should you ever need me again? Y le dijo a la gente, si me necesitan de nuevo, you must go to the trees and call my name. Tienen que ir a los árboles a llamar mi nombre. But this is not just open for anyone because the person must be eligible and qualified. Pero esto no puede ser hecho nada más por quien sea. La persona tiene que ser de, primero elegible y luego calificada. It was identified that he went and wrapped himself in the bark of the trees. And his power is in the tree that is released from Mother Earth's interaction with eldest brother to son. But when you throw Grandma Moon in between us and amplify her power... That is the equivalent of when mother and father get together and fertilize the egg. Y se identifica que él dijo eso, que se iba a envolver bajo la corteza del árbol y que se le llamara si se necesitaba de él. Y ahora justo que es el tiempo en que los árboles van a liberar su agua y que abuelita Luna va a estar en medio de hermano mayor el sol y nosotros con este poder, pues este poder va a ser amplificado. And so we will see 
the man of nine mothers once again. Entonces vamos a ver al hombre de las nueve madres caminar de nuevo. And this is the, sim uh, the signal of the return of the great peace to Turtle Island. Y este va a ser el símbolo o el signo de el regreso de la gran paz a la isla de la tortuga. It is our responsibility to the rest of the world, despite of how crazy and screwed up they are. Y es nuestra responsabilidad hacia todo el mundo, a pesar de que tan locos o fuera de orden estén. To fulfill our collective destiny. El llevar a cabo nuestro destino colectivo. And to return to the base of the great tree of peace. Y volver a la base del gran árbol de la paz. So collectively, we are already all engaged in this, even though we may not be aware of wherever we're at, of other peoples and what they are doing and what the realities are, but we are engaged in this together. Y colectivamente ya estamos eh, comprometidos juntos sin importar si no nos veamos tan seguido o que no nos encontremos para conversar así sabemos que en espíritu estamos en esto y lo estamos haciendo en cada uno de nuestros territorios so, on April 8th no matter where anyone is in this world y el 8 de abril no importa en donde se encuentre cada quien all mothers of this world all life givers must focus their attention on the return of the great peace on April 8th, when we are in total solar eclipse. Todas las madres de todos lados del mundo deben de concentrarse en el regreso de la paz este eclipse total de sol. They must take your drinking water and put your drinking water out in the sun for it to be activated. Y tomar el agua de beber y ponerla fuera para que sea activada por esto. If you can be in the water on that day, be in the water to be activated with the water. Y si pueden estar dentro del agua ese día, que lo hagan para ser activados por el agua. Many peoples are wanting to go to the path of totality. Y mucha gente está queriendo ir al camino de la totalidad. That's good. It's, it's basically like a, a spiritual sightseer, a spiritual tourist attraction. Y eso está bien, porque es un poco así como atracción turística. But the true place to be on that day is not in the path of totality. It's right on the edge of it. That's the power, the path of total power. Pero en realidad es a las orillas donde va a encontrarse la concentración. And so each moon, each new moon, each full moon until then, we only got what, a moon and a half now? Y ahora nada más nos queda una luna y media para ese momento. That we are to focus our ceremonies in preparation for this great event of just like knowing like when you're a child, if you know that your mother is pregnant, that she's carrying a baby, you know that you are preparing for the great event of when Ma gives birth again to the mighty warrior. Entonces, de aquí a ese entonces, habríamos de prepararnos para eso en cada ceremonia, así como cuando un niño sabe que su mami está embarazada y que está preparando para la llegada de su hermanita o hermanito, de la misma forma, nosotros nos vamos a preparar para la llegada de este gran guerrero. It will be the time of great change. Que va a ser el tiempo. And we look forward to from here. Whatever our interconnectedness will be, not only in spirit, but leading up to that, for to have us to have communication so that we can fine tune our spiritual message, where our energies must be. Y de aquí es que podamos hablar más, conversar más, para que no estemos nada más conectados en el espíritu, sino en nuestra palabra y que la manifestación se realice más. And so we ask you that now we got, like we said, a moon and a half. So uh, uh, within the next uh, couple of uh, gatherings that we have, if you can, if you have the time to be present so that we can keep bringing ourselves up to date as to what is happening in the cyclical processes of our Mother Earth. Entonces le pediríamos, obviamente, si usted puede, que en los próximos procesos de reconstitución, que nos quedan unos dos o tres de aquí a ese entonces, pues si puede venir a que sigamos entablando esta conversación, sería ideal. And we, we give thanks to your people, we give thanks to your mother, we give thanks to your bloodline, we give thanks that you are still here in this world. 
Y de nuevo le agradecemos a usted, le agradecemos a su mami, le agradecemos a su línea de sangre, le agradecemos a su nación porque todavía están ahí vivos de pie. We look forward to renewal with you. Y ya tenemos ganas de que esta renovación conjunta con ustedes se produzca. It makes me happy. Y me hace bien feliz. Aguatzanuni, we are happy. Aguatzanuni, estamos felices. So, this is everything within our presentation to you as to what we wanted to address here today in accordance to what is going to happen within the Gayerdi Yorakwase, the fourth new, the fourth new moon, I don't know how I'm counting, the fourth new moon of this year. Y eso es lo que le queríamos compartir en relación a esta cuarta nueva luna de este año. So, now we'll go up. Y muchas gracias. Qué bien. Yo también les agradezco mucho todos uh, esos conocimientos que ustedes tienen, ¿sí? Y también yo les quiero comentar algo. Por ejemplo, un dicho que dice, no hay mal que tarde 100 años ni cuerpo que lo resiste. Ellos mataron nuestra flor para que viviese la flor de ellos. Pero nosotros nos hemos muerto un momento, pero la planta nunca muere. Está la semilla y eso está creciendo nuevamente, va a florecer nuevamente para poder seguir adelante en busca de una libertad. No, no solo la libertad física, sino la libertad espiritual que nosotros tenemos y que también la libertad de la naturaleza que nos da vida, que nos da existencia. Gracias por este, por ese tiempo, eh, gran, gran amigo y gran jefe, le digo yo, aunque no le guste, pero gran jefe, le digo yo, y también usted, Edith, muchas gracias por este momento, y pues, Ahora decir que ustedes oyeron el gallo que estaba cantando cerquita y dijo, muy bien, muy bien, dijo. Entonces, yo creo que, yo creo que esto ya está como más que... Oiga, mire, ya está reconfirmado de que vamos a tener un encuentro a lo mejor este año, ¿sí? A lo mejor este año, ojalá que nosotros pongamos, podamos tener recursos para poder entablar una comunicación con todos ustedes ahí de la Casa Larga. Así es que muchas gracias y que los grandes abuelos, pues ahora sí que les abre el camino y que los protege con la luz, con la luz en donde debemos de, debemos de caminar para poder lograr lo que nosotros queremos. Así es que muchas gracias, Edith, y muchas gracias, amigo, ¿cómo es que se llaman? A mí no se me viene su nombre, pero qué bien, adelante, ¿sí? I want to thank you again, uh, thanks to you for all this uh, knowledge that you share, and uh, it is uh, just uh, great to be able to be here with you. Uh, as you heard the singing of the rooster a while ago, he was just confirming that, yes, it is true that this is uh, what's going to happen. Maybe we are going to be able to even share together this year. Uh, we have to remember that, uh, well, actually, we say, we have a saying here that says there's no bad thing that can less, last 100 years and not even a body that will be able to endure it. So we got to remember that they killed our flower uh so that their flower could live but that is something that if they thought that we were dead when well, it was just temporarily because we are uh bringing back that flower to life again because the tree is still alive it is still there so um uh, maybe if uh, the resources come here and that i'm able to travel to your place so that we can actually have this conversation face to face that would be a great thing to uh, for it to happen so Thank you, uh, Edith. Thank you, my great friend. That I'm still going to be calling you the great chief, even though I know you don't like it. I know you're not, but I'm going to be calling you like that. I don't know. I cannot uh, remember your name, but that's what you are to me. So, again, thank you again. Yeah, we'll go uh, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Pues muchísimas gracias y hablamos con usted bien prontito. But before we go, I'll eat. <laughs> I'll eat our cornbread oh. with you. Pero antes de eso, mire, como pan de maíz con usted. Es nuestro pan tradicional de maíz. Qué bien, qué bien. Es, sí. El maíz, el maíz de los mayas, 
está aliviando el hambre de África, ¿sí? And it's the corn from the Mayan people that is the one that is alleviating or, or taking away the, the hunger in Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lo que les quise decir es que Ojalá que, que, el, que la luz y la claridad pues alumbre el camino para que ustedes puedan seguir adelante tomando todos los pueblos del mundo para poder conseguir la paz que tanto lo necesitamos sin evadir, sin dejar por un lado nuestros grandes científicos, nuestros grandes abuelos que nos dieron vida, que nos dieron existencia en estas hermosas tierras. Hermanos, muchas gracias. Y que, que la paz sigue con ustedes en el, en el transcurso del camino. Hasta pronto. So I just want to say that uh, I am, uh, the words that I said is uh, that I am calling upon uh, the light so that that light will guide you and that that is what is going to open this path for uh, all of our nations, that you bring about the peace to all of our nations and not ever forget that it is through our ancestors that we can do that. So then again, thank you very much. And that's how I say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, we'll go on. I will continue to listen to my mother. Muchísimas gracias y voy a seguir escuchando a mi mami. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Nos vemos pronto. Adiós, adiós. Goodbye. Adiós. All right, so uh, that's it. We're closing right now. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh I don't know what to say after this. Uh uh <laughs> Okay, uh, let's can we check in with Angel if there's uh any uh, progress with uh Jeanne Piap yet? Uh entonces dice Stuart, después este intercambio ya no sé qué hacer, ya hay como que cerrar, no hay nada más que decir, pero bueno. Todavía quiere saber si hubo noticias de Angel y qué pasó con Shani Piaf. And she actually connected just for a little while, Angel, and she sent a quick message saying, I connect uh, rapidly to say that I was able to present myself as a Turo Wampum liaison, and I told them to contact us, and there's a lot of things to report, but they did hear about the Turo Wampum today, so she's mm -hmm. very happy. Entonces, Angel se conectó un poquito nada más para darnos noticias rápidas. Dice que eh, se presentó ella eh, ante la gente como una vinculación del Tratado de Paz del Wampum de Dos Vías y que les dijo que eh, nos contactara y que hay muchas otras cosas que quiere reportar o que tiene que reportar, pero que lo importante es saber que la gente allá escuchó acerca de este Tratado de Paz del Wampum de Dos Vías, entonces que está muy contenta por eso. And that's who we are. We are together, everyone on earth. We are the Degeni Diohade. Y ese es quienes somos. En, en toda la tierra somos eso, el Degeni Diohade. This is at the core of our being for all of us. This is our DNA. Porque en el centro de nuestro ser, eso es lo que somos, el ADN. And it's how every cell within our body has come together to be held together by law to complete our existence. Y es como cada célula de nuestro cuerpo se ha juntado para completar nuestra existencia. So two-row wampum is communication. Y el wampum de dos vías es la comunicación. It's love. El amor. It's law. La ley. It's ceremony of our ancestors. La ceremonia de nuestros ancestros. It is much more than... Uh, a, a belt woven of wampum. Y es mucho más que un cinturón tejido de perlitas o de chakiras. It is the truth that each and every one of us must carry. Es la verdad que cada una y uno de nosotros debe portar. It is the only thing that is going to heal our mother earth. Y es lo único que va a sanar a nuestra madre tierra. Okay, so. Oh. Uh, I'm just drawing a blank now. Like there's nothing else further that I can say because of this interaction today on every level has just been like the maximum, like the, the, the maximum potential. 
Entonces, no tengo nada más que decir porque esta interacción del día de hoy fue como a su máxima potencia. Griselda just came in and she just raised her hand. Okay, well, uh, let's go to Griselda then. <laughs> y eh, Griselda se conectó y levantó su manita, entonces vamos a ver qué nos tiene que decir. Hola, ¿me escuchan? Sí, te escuchamos. Uf. Hace calor. Ah, es que, sí, es que vengo corriendo del mercado, pero es que alcanzo a escuchar al abuelo. Vaya. She says, uh, I'm coming running from the market, but I was listening and I was hearing the grandfather and everybody else, so I'm here. Y pues con el permiso de la energía dadora de la vida, protectora de la vida, este, quiero compartir el mensaje que pues, recibí ayer y antier en la ceremonia de la luna llena. And with the permit of the life giver energy and the life protector energy, I'm asking to be able to share this ceremony, no, this message that came about yesterday with the moon ceremony. Yes. Es, este, Meteo, pues decía que todos los ojos se abren dentro de mí, hablaba la madre tierra, y todos los soles se activan dentro de la madre tierra. Y pues ahorita que escuché que había alguien de la Nación de la Araña, dije, wow, no me teo. And uh, the message was that all of the eyes of Mother Earth were being opened and that all of the suns within her were being opened or activated. And that resonated with somebody that was saying uh, something about the spider nation, uh, you know, still the spider. So then I was like, oh, okay, that's a confirmation. Sí, porque, bueno, he visto en la tele que la araña tiene muchos ojos. Because I have seen in TV, you know, only that the spiders have many eyes. Mm -hmm. Y ayer el mensaje fue que esta luna llena, que acá en la matriz le dicen de Virgo, que se, se unifica, libera los nudos que hay entre la cultura abuela, la cultura madre y la cultura actual, la era actual. And uh, what they say in this matrix culture that is the full moon of Virgo, and it is supposed to be able to uh, untie the knots that exist from the grandmother's culture to the mother's culture to the current culture, if we want to call it like that. Sí, por ejemplo, aquí en Teotihuacán, la cultura abuela es la cultura olmeca. For example, here in Teotihuacán, the grandmother culture is the olmec. Entonces, este es como nosotros, como niños, le decimos, este, mamá, abuela, lo que pasó entre ustedes, que entre ustedes, nosotros recibimos el buen espíritu de ustedes y todo lo contribuyente para ponerlo al servicio de la madre tierra aquí y ahora. And so us as children, we can say, mama, grandma, what happened between you is there but we receive the love that you gave us so that we can put into the service of our Mother Earth that love that we carry from you. Y pues no sé si usted el abuelo le quería cantar la canción del colibrí, el quetzal, el cóndor y la vila. Oh, abuelo my grandfather is still there because I wanted to sing for him the song of the hummingbird, the condor, and the eagle. Todavía lo vemos ahí, Gris, ahí sigue. Abuelo y toda la nación maya les ofrendamos este canto por gratitud a su existencia y a su amada presencia. So we offer this song to uh, all of the elders of the Mayan nation for their uh, role and for their uh, beautiful, beloved presence. Thank you very much for being there. Bueno. Se come, yay. El Ya nos trajeron su medicina, fuerza, amor, luz. 
Colibri, bri, bri, somos colibri. Yo soy un colibri, mis alas son mis cantos en el viento. Para adorar a la diosa plateada que me arrulla desde el firmamento. Para adorar a la diosa plateada que me arrulla desde el firmamento. Colibri, bri, bri, coli, coli, colibri. Colibri, bri, bri, coli, coli, colibri. Colibri, bri, bri, coli, coli, colibri. Colibri, bri, bri, somos huitzilí. Ajo. Perdón, es que yo le la emoción, abuelo. Mam. Ajo. Pues a mí también ya me hiciste chillar. Lo que dice Liz saying sorry, but I started crying because of the emotion, and I tell her that I, she also made me cry. <laughs> ya, yeah, well, Griselda. I feel the beat of your song. Eh, muchísimas gracias porque siento el ritmo de tu canción. I recognize it because yesterday y lo reconozco porque ayer, we were engaged in ceremony also. Estábamos en ceremonia también. And there's a song that I sing that it has to be sung in every ceremony. It's a song that is sung with the turtle rattles. It's it's the uh, it's the uh, great feather dance, the Estoa Goa, the song 
of those who created us. Y hay una canción que tengo que cantar con las uh, sonajas de el caparazón de tortuga, que es la canción que se hace para la apertura y el cierre de cada ceremonia, que es la danza de la creación, la gran, la danza de la gran pluma. And there's one verse in there that starts off at a regular beat, but then it goes fast, faster than any other verse. Y hay un verso ahí que empieza, bueno, así, la canción va con un ritmo y después hay un verso en que va mucho más rápido que lo demás. But yesterday, because of the deer. Pero ayer, gracias al venado. I was compelled to sing this song faster than I ever sung it before. Tuve que cantar la canción mucho más rápido de lo que estoy acostumbrado a hacerlo. And everybody who had to dance to it, almost couldn't dance to it. It's like, my arms were falling off. Their legs were falling off. Y todo mundo que estaba danzando casi no podía. Es como se me caían casi los brazos y ellos las piernas. And it's within the same beat. I feel that same energy in your song. Y es ese mismo ritmo, esa misma energía que siento en tu canción. So from the message that you were, uh, that you had received from yesterday, we were in the same energy together. Entonces, del mensaje que recibiste ayer, bueno, estábamos en la misma energía. So it's a great thing to hear this song that you carry. Entonces es realmente algo hermoso escuchar esta canción que traes, que portas. We say now we'll go for it because it, it tells more than verbal communication does. Y pues decimos now we'll go porque lleva mucho más de lo que una comunicación hablada lleva. Sometimes you know that we might be on the phone with somebody eh? and... Uh, we might be at a loss, like to say anything. We just want to stay there on the phone with them. A veces hablamos con alguien por teléfono y ya ni siquiera sabemos qué decir. Es como si nada más nos queremos quedar ahí en el teléfono así. And it's at that time where we know that verbal communication, it only can take us so far. Y es ahí en donde se sabe pues que la comunicación hablada así nomás nos lleva hasta cierto punto. That from there, the only thing that can go further is the spiritual communication. Y a partir de ahí, lo que continúa es la comunicación espiritual. And that is carried in your song today, and we give thanks for that. Y esa está en tu canción del día de hoy, y agradecemos por eso. Okay, so, uh, we were almost in the process of closing. If there is anything that you want to address, anything that you want to say, any final words, and then we're going to have to move on. Y bueno, estábamos a punto de cerrar. Entonces, Gris, si tienes algo más que quieras agregar como palabras finales. Pues, a Juan Mateos, este, solo pues, de lo que mencionaba, la, gracias a la medicina del venado, que pues aquí también estuvo presente desde la semana pasada. Llegó el hijo de la, de la maracame, Celia Kikaiwi, y tuvieron ceremonia ellos de venado ayer sábado. In Guadalajara. So I just uh, thank you and to say that uh, we also had the gift of the presence of the medicine of the deer that was picked up uh, last week by the son of Maracame Cecilia that you already spoke with and that uh, they had the ceremony in Guadalajara yesterday uh, with that medicine. Entonces, cuando llegó su hijo, me dijo, oye, voy para allá, este, pasa, vamos a la central porque vamos a ir. Por el venado. So uh, uh, she was going to pick her son up and she said, hey, uh, we're going to the central bus station because that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick up the deer. Y pues en ese momento yo dije, ah, sí, está bien. No sé. Ah, su hijo se llama Huérica Aguila. And uh, it's at that time that I said, okay, well, yeah, I can come with you. And uh, her, her son's name, his name is Wirika, that means eagle. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, there's so many. <laughs> We're just talking about this. So there you go. <laughs> Perdón, Gris, pero es que cuando dijiste uh -huh. esta, te aparece un chico. Entonces, que... pasa. Es del clan del venado, o sea, ¿cómo va a ser esto? <laughs> ok, well, it just shows us, you know, like. Uh -huh.
it, it just shows us that when each of us are doing what we're supposed to do in our respective territories, that we may not be aware, but every little thing is aligning with every little thing where the other peoples are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Nada más para decir que cuando cada quien está haciendo en su territorio lo adecuado, pues esto va a manifestarse en la conexión. Yeah, so as he was saying, one of those little deers that we were talking mm -hmm. about yesterday just walked in just as you were uh, finished talking. Y sí, este venadito llegó ahorita, como decíamos. <laughs> and so as it's coincidental also that you refer to your son at the very instance of being that eagle and aligns with the deer at that very instance walks through the door here. Y otra coincidencia que estés hablando del hijo de la maraca Meselia, cuyo nombre es Águila y que su padre que porta el nombre de Águila aparecen las dos dos al mismo tiempo. Who, who comes in with his turtle. <laughs> que viene con su, con su tortuga. <laughs> so all these, uh, all these elements are aligning. <laughs> Entonces todos estos elementos se alinean. <laughs> Okay, now we'll go of Griselda. We're going to have to move on because we're going to have to close too and eat soon. Entonces, now we'll go of Griselda y nos vamos a mover para terminar y comer. Okay, so uh, uh, if there was nothing else, uh, we, oh, we couldn't uh, uh, communicate with Jean Piat then, right? That's no, pretty no, much. No. Okay, so for the issue that was happening in Inu territory, as we heard when we were on the phone a while ago live, that Somebody just at that instance had driven into their sacred fire in a pickup truck. Entonces nada más para recordar que cuando hablamos con nuestra abuelita Shanifiat de territorio Inú, alguien está hablando desde el fuego central de su campamento diciendo que habían entrado con un carro a aplastarles el fuego sagrado. So here they were hundreds of miles away giving a uh, information session in Quebec City. But hundreds of miles away where they had their their camp on the ground to stop the illegal logging and had their sacred fire lit. Just at that same instance, while we're on the phone with them, on the video chat with them, somebody drives into their sacred fire. Entonces ellos están en su conferencia para hablar del asunto y mientras eso pasa, alguien les aplasta su fuego sagrado en su territorio. So obviously you can all depend on that. There's going to be updates on this. It's going to be... Uh, uh, some maybe maybe by Wednesday, but no matter what, there will be updates, and we will keep everybody informed as to what is happening there. Entonces, obviamente, vamos a tener que ver qué pasó y vamos a reportarlo. Vamos a mantenerles al tanto. And as you see, also with our with our sisters and brothers, uh, can't say where they are because it, they're. They're, they're trying to remain invisible right now. There is too much uh, uh, colonial forces coming down on them. But mm -hmm. as you've seen, that they were also in the same vein today. They carry heavy hearts because they're under uh, pressure. They're under attack. But at the same time, they are strong. So this is the resilience of our people. Well, the uh, the great darkness of the white man is barreling down upon us. The inner strength of our mothers is what shines through. Y bueno, también como tuvimos a la familia Gordon con nosotros, que también les están atacando, bueno, pues nada más para saber que cuando la gente está siendo atacada, lo que va a salir es el brillo de nuestras madres que se levantan. So we're very thankful. We give thanks for everything that has transpired here today. Everybody who is a uh, who's been a part of it, one way or another. You know, it's been uh, something of uh, quite an experience today. Y bueno, esto es como ha sido una experiencia maravillosa el día de hoy. And we gotta say hi to baby Miles. We seen you. <laughs> we seen his little head the ball go looking <laughs> looking at us. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard for us for me to see from here because the TV's like 25 feet away, you know, and and the the thumbnails on the top are this small, so it's hard for me to see. But I did see that little baby. <laughs> So all the best to everybody that we are flowing in a good energy today. But at the same time, while we are engaged in this process of eagle, reconstitution of Eagle and Condor, we remind ourselves as to uh, 
our friends who are under this colonial pressure. Y al mismo tiempo que estamos en este proceso de reconstitución entre el cóndor, el águila, el colibrí y el quetzal, eh, nos recordamos, acordamos de nuestros hermanos que están siendo oprimidos. For us not to forget of all the political prisoners of war of the original peoples after 500 years of fighting off this colonial genocide that yes, we are still the victims of it and they are still holding our people hostage. Que no olvidemos a estos hermanos que eh, siguen sufriendo este ataque de 500 años de guerra sobre nuestra gente y que ellos son los rehenes. So, we remember Celestino Cordoba. Y recordamos a Celestino Cordoba. Roger Chuck Mendoza. A Roger Chuck Mendoza. Leonard Pelche. A Leonard Pelche. And countless others, as you know, hundreds, thousands of others that are still currently in the white man's jails. Tantos más que están encarcelados en las cárceles del hombre blanco. We remember those whose lives were taken. Recordamos a aquellos a los que les quitaron la vida. Never to forget them. Y que nunca les olvidemos. These are not my nations. Ellos no son de mi nación. But they are my people. Pero son mi gente. And my people are to be defended and protected and remembered wherever they are. Y mi gente tiene que ser recordada y protegida en donde sea que estén. And so this is just to remind ourselves that we have responsibility. You don't have a responsibility to yourself, to your family, to your community, to just your nation. You have a responsibility to the entirety of Turtle Island and all of the original peoples within who are still struggling for their survival against this great darkness of the white man. Y la gente no tiene nada más una responsabilidad con su familia, con su comunidad, con su nación, sino con toda la isla de la tortuga y la gente que está defendiendo y que están teniendo dificultades por eso. Okay, is there anything that I forgot, anything that we were supposed to absolutely had to address? Hay algo que estoy olvidando, algo que teníamos que uh, absolutamente hablar de ello. I feel like there, I always feel like there's something that we were, that we missed. Siempre siento que estoy dejando algo de lado. But I guess that's why we're going to have another one coming up in a couple of weeks. That we just keep on in this process. That we keep evolving. We keep growing. Expanding our knowledge. Expanding our connections. Our truth together. Pero creo que por eso vamos a tener otra en dos semanas para seguir creciendo. Okay, so. Was there? No, nothing. No, okay. All right, then. Well, as we were uh, speaking with our friends earlier of uh uh oh i forget her name um the two women that we were speaking to who were speaking on behalf of the uh vandy the, the vandy yeah okay as we told them earlier that we were going to end with a song for them today to give them strength hace ratito le dijimos a Bambi y a la mamá de Andy que íbamos a hacer una canción para ellas. And we spoke a lot of and shared a lot today of the mighty warrior. Y hablamos mucho hoy del gran guerrero. Uh, this is a male energy that must be activated. Que es una energía masculina que tiene que ser activada. For the young boys to grow up following the paths of their mothers. Para que los pequeños crezcan siguiendo el camino de sus mamis. Following the truth of Guyana Rasa Skanagoa. Y la verdad de la grande y de la paz. This means to remain within the cyclical ceremonies of our Mother Earth. Para seguir en las ceremonias cíclicas de nuestra mami tierra. To keep our knowledge constantly up to date of our grandmother moon. Y mantener al día nuestro conocimiento de la abuelita luna. And to walk in her light out of the darkness. Y caminar bajo su luz para salir de la oscuridad. And to do all of this, we call upon the strength of the mighty warrior, Sida Wadzia Jekaneke Garakwa. Y para hacerlo, llamamos a, al gran guerrero, Tsuwautzia Jekaneke Garakwa. And so we'll end off with this today to fire up that male spirit. Y terminamos entonces hoy con eso para eh, <clears throat> activar ese espíritu masculino. <clears throat> 